Specially marked packs of blueberry flavor Waffalo cereal. Three different patches Waffalo Bill, Horse, or both together. One patch per package. And now for the Burger King weather forecast ice cold shakes up north, hot fries down south, and rain on this Saturday. <laughs> Followed by gusts up to 50 miles an hour. Burger King presents Holiday Magic Meal. Each week, the meal you buy comes in a different box with a different trick, like the magic present. Assembly required. It's good! <laughs> Holiday Magic Meal through December 24th at a participating Burger King, while supplies last. A bad case of worms is something you could really love. You can make them sit up, roll down walls, even wag their tails. And when you throw them, they'll stick close to friends, yeah. family, Yuck. and new acquaintances. Worms. And with a bad case of worms, you may even make your friends worm with delight. A bad case of worms comes with two play worms in a portable case. Works on most slick surfaces. New from Mattel. Barbie Makeup Fun. It's the new Barbie Cosmetics Beauty Set. It's beautiful Barbie makeup all in one set. With Barbie Cologne, Barbie lipstick, Barbie eyeshadow, Barbie blush, Barbie nail polish, all in one beautiful set. You're so pretty. Can I try some? Certainly, my dear. <laughs> Barbie Cosmetics Beauty Set comes with everything you see here. Available in reds or pinks. From Mattel. We now continue with Goldie Gold and Action Jack. Now that you've filed your newspaper story, Jack, let's play tourist. I just love India. It's so exotic and mysterious. Yeah, the kind of place where anything can happen at the drop of a hat. America! 
Americans, New York, danger, giant snake, venom. Remind me never to drop my hat again. There, the traitor. Seize him. Crimson Cobra, New York. Easy, take it slow. We'll try to. Jack, look out. Betrayed us, and you must pay. Hurry, they're getting away. Mighty Crimson Cobra, we have captured the traitor as you commanded. Then let us hasten to the ruins where he shall be punished. in there. They gave us the slip. They seem to be headed out of the city. We'll get your unibus and search the rainforest. <laughs> the Brotherhood of the Cobra must remain a secret until the day all mankind bows before us. You betrayed us. Dare to expose us. And so must be silenced. No! No! When the venom has done its work, you'll speak no secrets to anyone. Great! Look! That snake must be 40 feet long! And it's turned their captive into a snake man! Can we save him? I don't know, but we're gonna try. The blonde and her friend! They followed us! They saw the transformation! They must not escape alive! with these three quickly. I am the Crimson Cobra. Goldie Gold and Jack Travis. Shake. Oh, darn. I guess we can't. I deal harshly with my enemies, young man. Two other traitors, Blake Farnsworth and Andrew Rockwell, have threatened to expose my secrets. I am going to New York to stop them, just as I stop the other traitor. You're just going to strand us here, alone? <laughs> you won't be alone. Release the cops! Forever! Nice 
nice try, Nug, but they're not impressed. They might be if Nugget were bigger. Your 3D projector ring. Home movie. <laughs> It worked! Now we're only stranded and helpless. Good boy. Now we're only stranded. My turn again. Come on! Here's our transportation. My collapsible tandem moped. We'll contact Sam when we get back to the city. Right. He can bring Farnsworth and Rockwell to my mansion in New York. I refuse to be intimidated. The Crimson Cobra and his men must be exposed. But Mr. Farnsworth, Mr. Rockwell, you're in terrible danger. The world is in terrible danger if that secret society is allowed to grow. We'll simply have to take the risk. They're very brave. But we better keep an eye on them, whether they like it or not. Agreed. I'll watch Rockwell. You and Goldie head for Farnsworth's office at the World Trade Center. Stay, Nugget. This is too dangerous. <laughs> We're almost there. Calling all cars, 40-foot Cobra, vicinity of World Trade Center. They're here already? Let's go. Mr. Farnsworth, you've got to get out of here. Don't worry. I'll stop it. With that? Are you kidding? Hurry, get Farnsworth to safety. What about you? Just go. Hey, Snake Puss, over here. Chew on that a while. Let's go. I stalled it, but I couldn't stop it. Hurry, up to the next floor. But, Goldie, Jack, there is no next floor. We're trapped up here? With that? sign of Farnsworth or the snake. <laughs> Mr. Farnsworth? Let's get him to my mansion. If there's a cure, my scientists will find it. Goldie Gold still lives? We must remedy that at once.
This shall bring doom to Goldie Gold. A King Cobra, which carries the venom of the giant snake. Take it to her mansion. She shall suffer the curse of the snake people. I'll take Farnsworth to the science wing, Goldie. You hop in the tub and get cleaned up. And don't worry. My second bath today. I'm beginning to feel like Goldie Goldfish. We'll return after these messages. Strawberry shortcake, huckleberry pie, blueberry muffin just two inches high. These 18 Strawberry Land miniatures, each sold separately, each have a different smell. Raspberry tart with a tasty sundae. Raspberries, six of strawberry shortcake, even purple pie man. Sold separately too, this berry patch carry case for displaying and taking the miniatures with you. New Strawberry Land Miniatures Strawberry Shortcake with Custard. Other miniatures each sold separately. They're from Kenner. better way to have fun this Christmas than with the Chipmunks' latest album, A Chipmunk Christmas. Eleven great holiday songs from their TV special, sung only as the Chipmunks can, and a colorful cartoon storybook. A Chipmunk Christmas and Urban Chipmunk on RCA Records and Tapes. Real fun for Christmas. Brush your teeth. Haven't got time, Mom. <laughs> Good. Open wide. Who are you? Hurtful J. Cavity's the name. By not brushing, you're asking for some nice, hurty cavities. Never fear. AIM is here. Ooh, I hate AIM. AIM fights cavities and it tastes good. AIM does taste good. Now maybe you'll brush. Brushing is as important as fluoride in fighting cavities. I will brush with AIM. Bye. Good girl. Take AIM against cavities. We now continue with Goldie Gold and Action Jack. What's that noise? <gasps> Is it gone? Where are you, you slithery little... Uh, 
Sam. It still is. We've got to lure it out of here, away from the crowd. like a pair of canaries. Behold, Goldie Gold, the Crimson Cobra's vengeance. Since you deprived me of my rightful victim, I am taking your friend, Sam Grit. Bid him goodbye for the last time. We can't let them turn Sam into a snake. Hopefully they won't. If my mini laser torch is charged up. The canaries just blew the coop. Nothing. Unless the Crimson Cobra drives a moving van as a second job. Hey, uh, Goldie Gold. Brick Brubaker? I saw them snake faces make off with your buddy. And I heard him say he was heading downtown. Terrific. Thanks, Brick. Still no sign of the Crimson Cobra or Sam? That moving van. It's exactly like the one I saw leaving the ballpark. In there, maybe? Only one way to find out. Let me guess. This is a trap for Goldie. And I'm the bait, right? Correct. And when she arrives... What do you mean, when, Snake Eyes? <laughs> Want a lift, mister? Away! We must not be captured. He's escaping! Into the tunnel! Prepare to strike! The Cobra Catchman! Switch places. You drive, and I'll tackle old Snake Face. Gotcha. Again, you survive. I will. Oh, shut up! You've caused enough trouble for one day. That's it, Goldie. Keep distracting it. Don't let it onto the platform. Oh no! The Broadway local. <laughs> Correction, trying to get away. No! Tough luck, Snake Eyes. It's all over. Crimson Cobra and henchmen captured. Venom victims cured. Well, I guess Crimson Cobra's learned his lesson. Yeah, and I've learned mine. Never leave an angry nugget at home. We'll return after these messages. It's music. It's magic. It's Cinderella and all her friends. Jacques. Poor Cinderella. Gus Gus <laughs> and Lucifer. It's just plain fun.
Walt Disney's Cinderella. Rated G. Now playing in selected areas. Starting Christmas Day everywhere. Check local listings. Wednesday. Is Frosty really getting married? I will not allow it! A classic holiday special for the whole family. Frosty's Winter Wonderland. Then, a new wee Christmas special. Who comes? When Dinty Doyle stumbles upon the end of the rainbow. A golden Christmas dream come true! The Leprechaun's Christmas Gold. Wednesday, starting at 8, 7 Central the Mountain on ABC. We now continue with Goldie Gold and Action Jack. Jenny, but that's not Jenny's dad. If she gets into that car, that may be the last time you'll see Jenny. I'm McGruff, the crime dog. See those kids? Every day in this country, 60 kids disappear. Some run away, but a lot are kidnapped by strangers or even by people they know. So write to McGruff and teach your kids to protect themselves. Help uh, take a bite out of crime. Brewster will return after these messages. My Little Pony. It's the comedy little adventure pony. you've been waiting for. My Little Pony, the movie. What happens when three evil witches try to destroy Ponyland with ugly purple smooths? Can Megan and her brother Danny help the ponies stop the witches? My Little Pony stars Danny DeVito as the Grundle King, Madeline Kahn and Rhea Perlman as the Witch Sisters, Cloris Leachman as their mother, Hidia, and Tony Randall as the Moochick. You'll love My Little Pony, the movie. It's rated G and it opens at theaters everywhere the Friday after school's out. It's fabulous Dream Glow Barbie. Dream Glow canceled separately. We use special fabric for TV. Three girls have got a secret glow. Right, Barbie? Dream Glow Barbie. Ruffles and lace to wear any place. <gasps> and when the lights go low, what a glow. Dream Girl can do anything. Right, Barbie? Dream Glow Barbie doll comes with this glow-in-the-dark gown and stole. Dream Glow Kind all sold separately. New from Mattel. We now return to Funky Brewster. 35, 40, 45. It's just not enough to help Henry pay the rent. <laughs> what is ring ding ding Come out, come out! Romer, this is a phone. 
you talk into it. Hello? Really? A job for Henry in Florida? He'll take it! We're saved! Now Henry can pay the rent. Oh, boys! Do you think he'll mind going all the way to Florida? Nah. He might not go for the skydiving. Skydiving? Punky Henry will kill ya! Hello, Fern. Sorry, Glomer. This time it's the doorbell. Henry! Punky, I forgot my keys. Quick, hide Glomer. Again. You got it! Punky, why did you close the... Good news, Henry. I got you a job, so now you don't have to worry about the rent. I'll worry about when I have to worry. All you gotta do is jump out of a plane and take pictures of some daredevil skydivers. What do you say? In a word, no. But why not? Because I value my life. I guess that's okay, Henry. We can find another cheaper apartment. All right. But if I don't come back, it's on your conscience. That's the spirit. Now let's get going. Do I have time to get my umbrella? Wait a minute. Punky! Uh, you don't want to miss your plane, Henry. We'll talk later. Close call. call. Henry is skydiving. I won't be able to see it. Well, you can't get to Florida. You're snapping your fingers. Why not? No, I can. Really? No sweat, baby. Okay, Glomer, you're on. But Henry told you to stay with my grandma. We'll be back by dinner. He'll never even know. Everybody, holding on to Glomer now. Screaming Screamers Skydiving Team! That was the worst trip I ever had! Phew, ain't no picnic for me either. Look, we're just in time! That must be Henry's plane! But where's Henry? Never mind. Where is he going? The air feels this way. It's the wind. He's heading for the swamp. Glomer, quick, do something. I try. Long trip make magic point. We've got to do something. You're not having me for dinner, you slimy reptile! Well, maybe slimy was a bit harsh. Now, which way is out? Punky, we should wait for the search party. No way! I got Henry into this mess and I'm gonna get him out of it. There's mud in there! It's a swamp. What did you expect? Yogurt? <laughs> what was that? I bet it's a big, ugly swamp monster like I saw in the movies. Monster! Yeah, he ate all the pretty girls first, starting with their toes. I'm doomed! Well, I'm not going to let some man-eating swamp monster keep me from my Henry. You understand? Me neither, too. Come on out before I punch your lights out. There's your swamp monster. Now, forget swamp monsters. Let's spread out and find Henry. Wait for us! If those aren't monster tracks, 
They sure have big bugs in this swamp. <gasps> what is it? It's it's a piece from Henry's coat. The swamp monster must have my Henry. We gotta follow those tracks and hope Henry tastes as bad as he looks. I guess you can't expect a swamp monster to live at the Ritz. He's probably marinating Henry right now. This isn't gonna work, Punky. Don't worry, we're gonna scare the pants off of that swamp monster. Jump the monster when he shows up. Now, Glomer, you're our lookout. Understand? Sure, bet. When I see monster, I yell, Look out! Look out! Something like that. Okay, Margo, you're on. Oh, woe is me. A gorgeous, exquisite young maiden in distress. Margo, we're trying to catch him, not make him sick. <laughs> it's coming! Smile! Try to look pretty! Don't be redundant! <laughs> oh, right, Buster, I'll give you one second to tell me where. Henry is. Henry, you're safe! Punky! How did you get here? We sort of stowed away on your plane. What? But we did save you from the swamp monster. Punky, Henry is the swamp monster. He must have tied bark to his shoes to keep him from sinking in the mud. Uh-oh. Henry, do I have to polish? 
all the furniture? Till it shines. Maybe next time you'll think twice before you stow away. I'll think ten hundred times. Well, at least we came out with enough money for the rent. Is there any leftover for a maid? Keep polishing. Keep polishing. Punky Brewster will return after these messages. Okay, everybody, come outside. Everybody ready for a wild, wet ride? Slip, slip and slide. You can put it on your lawn. Turn the water on, then you run, run, run. And you're sliding on your top. Slip, slip and slide. Slip, slip and slide. It's a lot of fun to play when the spray goes all the way. Slip, slip and slide. Slip and slide comes with plastic slide and fasteners from Whammo. Hi, Ernie. Hi, Ernie. Hey, you're a cookie. A brand new Keebler cookie named E.L. Fudge. That's E as in everybody, L as in loves, Fudge. Pleased to meet you. Rich, buttery shortbread cookies shaped like an elf, then dipped in smooth, creamy fudge. Everybody's gonna love E.L. Fudge. I never met an elf with cookie I didn't like. That's E as in everybody, L as in loves, Fudge. New E.L. Fudge cookies from Keebler. You'll love them. Megan, you and Sundance have the prettiest new clothes. I love the way they go together, don't you, Sundance? I sure do. My little pony, Megan and Pony wear. Dressing you up is fun to do. Each set comes with two outfits, one for Megan and one for My Little Pony. And there are six different sets in all. My Little Pony, Megan and Pony wear. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Megan and Pony wear sold together. Each set sold separately from Hasbro. We now return to Punky Brewster. Gee, Punky, I thought Alan didn't want us to watch him play football. He'll change his mind when he sees what's in the basket. You mean Glomer? Nope. Lunch. Somebody might see you. Oh, yeah. Uh, you bet. Hey, there's Alan. Come on. We want to play Crunch the quarterback. Hike! Oof. <gasps> Another touchdown, suckers. <sighs> you got to be the biggest goof in all of football. Why don't you go and bag your face, Lenny? Alan's okay. Sure, as a tackling dummy. Oh, yeah? For all you know, Alan could end up playing for the Chicago Bears someday. Only if the Bears go into hibernation. <laughs> <laughs> you won't laugh so hard when Alan's wearing a Bears uniform. See you at the Pro Bowl, wimp. Come on, Alan. We're not going to let those bums treat you like this. But Punky... Alan will never play pro football. Never say never to Punky Brewster. We'll just have to get Alan on the Chicago Bears. That's all. That's all? Practice makes perfect. You're going to practice, Alan. Go out for a pass. need a lot of practice. Like a hundred years. Wait, Cherry. Maybe Glomer could help. <laughs> yes, we Bill. Hey, I feel strange. That's because you are. Alan, catch two ball. Football, Glomer. Throw the ball. That's 
what I call a bullet pass. Wow, I'm really good? Yeah, good enough to get you on the Bears. We'll show that Lenny and Chucky. Now remember, let me do all the talking. This time, throw it right to the receiver. Hey, who are you? Punky Brewster, Super Agent. Today is your lucky day, Coach. Meet Ellen, your next starting quarterback. Are you putting me on? He's just a kid. Just wait till you see Alan play. Sorry, kid. Come back in a few feet. Oh, well. Just a darn minute, Alan. Hey! Come back here! Say it! Hi! Kids, fun's over. Give me that ball. You're the man, Alan. Give it to him. <laughs> okay, kid. Let's see what you can do. Well, Coach, is he in? Be here tomorrow. I'm going to check with the NFL. You may just be our starting quarterback. That's right, Lenny. Alan's going to be suiting up tomorrow. So you and Chucky beat the Bears game and see for yourself. Frankie! Henry, you got to hide, Bloomer. Henry? Punky, I've got a surprise. Yeah! What was that? Yow! Yow! What on earth are you doing? Uh, practicing for choir. So, Henry, what's the big surprise? Something strange came over me, and I bought tickets for the whole gang to see the Bears game tomorrow. So, trippy go, Henry. Okay, okay. Don't strangle me. Now, lights out. Night, Henry. Wait till Henry sees Alan quarterback. Thanks to you, Gloma, Alan has a whole new career. Oh, sure that. <laughs> what is career? The job you do for your whole life. Whole life? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> Gloma magic have time limit. <laughs> Soon I'll be burbopped. Burbopped? Trip, fall, bumble. You mean he'll turn back into a klutz? Yep, you got it. Right off the button. Then we've got mega problems. Alan could get clobbered. We've got to get him out of the game. Margo, what's keeping Punky and Cherry? They'll miss the opening kickoff. Uh, they went to get popcorn. But they already have popcorn. All right, move it, bears! Alan must be in here somewhere. We're here to take you home. Are you crazy? I got a game to play. But Gloma's magical kaput. Bye bye, later day, split, head for the hills. Alan, if you play with those bruisers, we'll have to carry you home in a lunchbox. I don't believe you. I'm gonna go out there on that field and show them what I'm made of. Thank me for this later, Alan. Hey! Hey! Stop! I want my manicure! My lawyer! My mother! Hold 
the down or you'll need your doctor. There's the exit! Punky, it's stuck! Ah, uh, Punky friend! Wait a minute. That's Punky and Cherry on the field. Oh no. It must be spots in your binoculars. Yeah. Two spots named Punky and Cherry. couldn't change the NFL's mind. According to the rules, you can't play until your class graduates from college. Oh. Gee, you broke his heart, Coach. Of course, there is something that you can do to make it up to him. Wow! He's right down there with Dick and Peyton. I gotta admit it, Punky. You sure were right about Alan. I told you someday he'd be wearing a bear's uniform. Well, Punky? Are you mad, Henry? It's a long story. All I want to know is, why didn't she get me Peyton's autograph? Punky Brewster will return after these messages. Bateman, and I'll be right back with one to grow on. Ooh, have you heard Sid Haircut's newest record? It is so great. I heard it. It doesn't do much for me. Oh, come on. Sid Haircut's the best. He's my favorite. He's okay, I guess, but he's not as cool as Johnny Sincere. Oh, what do you mean? Sid Haircut's the best, and you're nuts. I can't stand you. You're such a nerd. Hey, wait a minute. Calling someone a nerd is one thing. A difference of opinion is another. The fact that someone doesn't agree with you doesn't make them crazy. It doesn't even make them wrong. It just means they think differently than you do about something. In a world as big as ours, there's plenty of room for other ways of seeing things. That's kind of nice. Hey, wait a minute. What are we fighting over? I don't know. You can like your Sid haircut. I can like my Johnny Sincere. We're friends, aren't we? No, no matter what. what. <laughs> <laughs> And that's one to grow on. Cats and dogs, get this. 
Presenting the superstars of the Stone Age, the one and only Flintstone Kids. Today. After these messages. When time is going slow. You can speed it up with fun. Yep. With Bubble Yum. A good time's coming up. Cause we're gonna yum it up. With Rock and Crunch. And Raspberry. Rock and roll in one. New Rock and Raspberry Bubble Yum. Bubble Yum. We're gonna rock around the head. When you yum it up. Time flies when you yum it up. With Bubble Yum. Bubble Yum and Sugarless Bubble Yum. Uh, nobody till somebody loves you. Uh, nobody I can till somebody cares. You're always a somebody to a new pet from the Humane Society. And no matter who you are, there's one waiting just for you. You're nobody till somebody loves you. So find yourself somebody to love. Let a pet touch your heart. Adopt from your local Humane Society. Check out the Facts of Life weekdays at 4 o'clock. We now return to the Wuzzle. Welcome once again to Wuzz. From the looks of that squirrely bird, it must be that time of year again. See, on Wuzz, when fall is about to arrive, the squirrely birds throw their nuts south for the winter. And if it's just about fall, it's time for... The Fall Fun Time Festival. Oh boy, I can hardly wait! What costume are you gonna wear this year, Bumble Lion? Eh, something new, something original, something special. The old ghost costume, huh? Come on, let's go see if Mr. Pack Cat has any new costumes at the general store. Hi, guys. Looking for costumes, too? Yeah, something new, something original, something special. The ghost costumes are right over there. Okay, every Wuzzle, tell me what you think. Great costume, Hoppo! A Loch Was Monster! I'm supposed to be Tinker Wuzzle! Wow! Buck Swashler! I gotta have this costume! I'd be Ella Rue the smasher -roo in this one. How much is it, Mr. Pat Cat? Hmm. Are you flexible? I'm just an itty bitty short on cash. How much do you have? Well, let me see. 25 minus 4 plus 3 <laughs> subtract <laughs> uh, nothing. Oh, darn. I wanted that costume so badly. And me too. Any brilliant money ideas yet, Rhinoki? Yeah! What if we all take a long vacation in Hawassi to think about how to make money? We want to make money, not spend it. How about you, Ellaru? Ellaru, what are you doing? 
Oh, just rummaging through my pouch, getting rid of a few things. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Probably. My head's a blank. Hey, let's have a rummage sale. We'll sell all this stuff in Ellaru's pouch. I figure if we sell all of these, we'll have exactly what we need to buy the new costumes. Terrific! These pies are as good as petal. Better make sure the merchandise isn't faulty. Yummers! Pies for sale! Make your taste buds merry! Buy a chocolate cherry! Pies for sale! Okay, you guys ready? Places! Here comes our first customer! You're tired of paying pack cuts high prices? Then tell you what! Welcome to Elaru's Pouchorama! We've got plastic pickle pears, appleberry glue, piano hearts, saddle blasters, open hoof shoes. Most fascinating. How about a toasting blender? Have we got toasting blenders? Does my face have a horn? Ella will give the pretty lady what she wants. Oh, uh, sorry, all out. Try Mr. Pack Cat Store. Next. Don't be bashful. Give your tummy a treat. Bye today. They're delicious. Look. Ooh. Oh. Pies for sale. Please. Uncle, you sold all the pies. Oh, let's go buy the costume. Butterbeer, you didn't really want to go to the fall festival, did you? What are you trying to say? I ate all the pies. I couldn't squeeze into the new costume even if I wanted to. I mean, who cares about having fun? Oh, oh hi, guys. Did you make a lot of money? Nope. But we made a lot of enemies. We decided we didn't want to go to the crummy old festival. Costumes are silly anyway. Yeah, we think so too. We wanna go! Make way, make way, coming through. Oh. Looks like some wuzzle's moving into the old ground dog estate. Let's go find out who. Oh, you don't want to be. Oh, oh, oh. Let me see. Let me be first. Hey, come on. I want to see. Come on. Wow. I wonder what's in that strange crate. I want to know who's moving in. I am. Tycoon's the name. Making money's my game. No kidding. Are you in the bucks? Ever met a zillionaire before? <laughs> no, but I'd like to. Yeah, me too. Because that's what I want to be someday. Say, uh, Tycoon, what's in the crate? Oh, well, it's a secret. It's what's going to make me a zillionaire. Zillionaire, huh? I've got to know what's in there. I'm not leaving until I find out. He's opening the crate. Oh, what's in there? Let's see, let's see. Oh, what a look. I don't believe. Oh. I wonder what's in the crate. I think I'd pay a zillion dollars to find out, wouldn't you? We will return after these messages. Here's Tropical Barbie and Nico. Dolls and Tahiti Bird eat sold separately. We girls love it in paradise. Right, Barbie? Tropical Barbie, island girl, long flowing hair. Tropical flowers to wear, beautiful braids, a tropical Barbie day. We girls can do anything, right Barbie? Tropical Barbie and Miko dolls, each sold separately. Tahiti Bird also sold separately. From Mattel. Who are you waiting for? Ice Cream Jones. And new ice cream cone cereal. My name's Ice Cream Jones. I'm bringing the kids my ice cream cones. <laughs> 
A crunchy new cereal for breakfast. A great taste of ice cream cones. Whoa! I'll have vanilla. Give me chocolate chips. They look like little ice cream cones. And taste like them. The crunchy part of this nutritious breakfast. My name's Ice Cream Jones. With the great taste of ice cream cones. New ice cream cone cereal. We now return to the Wuzzle. I bet my bottom dollar there's some great freight in that crate. Wow! What a tree for a shopping spree! Hey! What's the big idea snooping around my house? Oh, sorry. We just wanted to sneak a peek at your money tree. I've never seen one before. Where'd it come from? Well, I wheeled and deal for it. I'm a business tycoon, you know. And it's the only one in the whole was. Except for this money tree seed I have. You have a money tree seed? Oh, if we had a money tree, we wouldn't have to work so hard to buy those costumes. Yeah, you wouldn't want to part with that seed, would you, Tycoon? Well, I do have the money tree. You'll have to make me an offer I can't refuse, though. I, I have a new bowling bat I could trade for it. Well, I've got something better. An exploding whoopee cushion. I'll give you season tickets to all my plays at the Was Theater. Nah, tell you what. Bring all your best stuff, and I'll give the seed to the highest bidder. There are five Wuzzles here, but only one money tree seed. If my math's right, I'd say four Wuzzles are going to be left out. Uh, base bowling ball, hockey puck mallet, a golf club racket, Imitation meat, rubber forks, fake hand, itching powder, squirt glasses. Let me see. What'll I trade? A picture of me? A poster of me? This could go on all night. What do you say we speed things up and get on with the bidding, hmm? There, that's better. Oh, you want to be? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, I'll throw in my soccer mitt. I've got a telephonograph to trade. I'll top you with my walking, talking to me. Air today, gone tomorrow. Out of my way, out of my way. Big deal. I have billboards and boas. How about raspberry pickle ripple pudding? No, Nothing. No, 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 look at the typhoon. Oh, Mine's better. Hold it. If you give me all of this, the seed is yours. Well, if we all give you our stuff, who gets the money tree seed? Well, you can share it. Uh... Excuse us, Tycoon, while we, uh, confer. He's asking too much. Does he think money grows on trees? But, Hoppo, with a money tree, we could replace all the stuff we're giving away. We'll take turns picking money from it. After all, friends should share. There'll be plenty. Unless Hoppo goes grocery shopping. <laughs> okay, it's a deal, Tycoon. <laughs> Where are we going to plant it? How about Butterbear's greenhouse? Boy, if anybody can grow a seed, it's Butterbear. Look! Wow! It worked! I can afford the best caviar cupcakes, escargot furs. Hoppo, we agreed to take turns. All right, all right. But let's hurry and get on with the draw. Five. Ah, oh, just my luck. Last again. Oh, I'm number one. I get to pick first. So what are you waiting for, pal? Start picking. Oh, this should buy that costume I wanted. See you later, guys. Well, I'm number two. I can hardly wait till tomorrow. Huh. Guess I'll go window shopping for the next five days. This is gonna be the best costume ever. Thank you, Mr. Packhat. <gasps> Ooh, this would look wonderful on me. Yeah, you'd fill that one out real well, Hoppo. I must have it. I'll ring it up for you. No, wait. I don't have enough money. Could you hold it for me? For five days? Uh, sorry, Hoppo. With the fall festival coming up, too many wuzzles will be wanting it. 
It's the only one. Tell you what, hold it for one hour. I'll be back with the greenbacks. Wow, this is the niftiest kayak kite I've ever seen. On sale today only. And I can't pick the money tree until tomorrow. Unless... A spring-loaded scare face. Just what I've always wanted. <laughs> if you play with it, you pay for it. Oh, good idea. I'll be right back with the dough. I know it isn't my turn, but trees stay healthier if you prune them. Nothing I'd rather do than spend my day spending money. Oh, no! Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, care to have your fortune stolen? I mean, your fortune told? How about if I had my palm read? Sure. Give me all your money. There. Your palm's red. <laughs> Next! A fortune, mister? No, thanks. I already have a fortune. You do? Of course. I'm the richest Wuzzle in Wuzz. Hmm, that Wuzzle and I need to get much better acquainted. Come on, goons. <laughs> Hot diggity! Or should I say, hot dig a tree? Don't just hang there. Fetch me a wheelbarrow. We're transplanting that tree to my house. <laughs> now, I know that Croc has no interest in plants. That isn't a green thumb he has. That's a greed thumb. We will return after these messages. Negative. Sunkiss searches and searches for fun fruit trees. The only trees funny enough I found them. to grow Sunkiss fun fruits. Every chewy one is real fruity fun. And now we've discovered new Sunkiss fun fruits cream supremes. They're covered with yogurt and filled with fun. New Sunkiss fun fruits cream supremes. Computers are coming your way. Computers? For paying bills. Mothers, too. Bah, humbug. Wow. Let me try it. What you doing, Caddy? My homework. A report called Dance to the Beat and Land on Four Feet. Which side is up? Oh, I'm still working on it, Hacker. Besides, I'm going to be a star, not a writer. Even stars need to write. Use the computer. The computer? Sure. This is the word processing program that I use for my science report. Whoops. No problem. Change the XYZ to an ABC. With a cursor space, make a word array. Let me try it. See your work improve? Make a sentence move. Cut it down to size you can edit or revise. Word processing really helps. Let the printer run when your work's all done. And it turns out neat. What a treat. My work's complete. See you soon. We now return to the Wuzzle. They say nothing lasts forever. But this poor tree didn't even make it through the day. What happened? Did Butter Bear's green thumb turn black? We got took, that's what. Let's go over to Tycoon's and demand our stuff back. Yeah. No, yeah, no, let's go. Come on. You gave us a bum tree. Yeah, no, we want our no, stuff no, back. Hold it. I don't understand. 
My tree grows fine. Did you grow yours right? Butterbear grew it. And she could make cement grow. Did you prune it too much? Oh, no. I, I just took a few dollars. Well, I, uh, I borrowed a few, too. Let's see, an emergency did arise. And I recall some money leaping off the tree into my hands. See? You got greedy and killed it. Sorry, but that money tree didn't have a money-back guarantee. Well, it's your fault. fault. Yes. It's not my fault. Bumbleine did it. Well, what do you think, goons? <laughs> Brant's right. It's nice. But let's scram before they arrest us for trespassing. Relax, fly breath. Welcome to our new home. Take down the for sale sign, Brant. Huh? Yikes! My tree, it's gone! Those wuzzles aren't gonna get away with this. Hey, you guys! What's the big idea? We wouldn't be in this jam if the rest of you had waited your turn. Give me back my money tree. I don't have it. Well, some wuzzle took it, and I want to know who. Well, don't look at me. I'm not the greedy wuzzle. Wait a minute. What's Croc doing moving into a house on Easy Street? I'm beginning to smell a rat fink spelled C-R-O-C-K. Croc? But I thought he was the fortune teller. No, he's a fortune taker. And I bet he stole your tree. I tell you what. If you guys help me get my money tree back, I'll give you all your stuff back. Give us a second to talk this over. We'll do it. Let's make Croc wish he never had money. Just leave everything to us. What's that for, Bumble Lion? It's a phony oil detector. It'll convince Croc there's oil on his property. Are you for real? How's a dumb thing like that supposed to get back Tycoon's tree? Yeah, Hoppo's right. She knows a fat chance when she sees one. <laughs> Look, by the time Croc buys drilling equipment and tears up his yard without a drop of oil to show for it, he'll wish he never had money. Well, if it fails, don't say I didn't tell you so. Hey, Bumbleline, what are you doing on my estate? Surveying for oil. Oil? On my property? Wow! There's a gusher right where we're standing. I'd start drilling if I were you. This could make you a zillionaire. A, a zillionaire? Uh, I can't wait. Out of the way. I'm going for the black gold. <laughs> Tells me this is not an oil well. It's an ink well. It is a worthless ink. This is all your fault. But why me? Because it's always my sidekick's fault. I get this mess cleaned up. Any more brilliant ideas, Bumble Brains? This time, leave everything to Tycoon the Stocks Broker. Operator? Operator, get me the stocks market. It's urgent. What? Stocks are up? Oh, darn. If only I had money to invest, I'd, I'd be a zillionaire. Huh? What's that? Stocks? Hey, will you scram? This is top secret. Besides, you're rich already. Yeah, but money's like my appetite. I can never have enough. You wouldn't want to invest some money for me, would you? <laughs> no way. This is for big investors. No small-time operators here. I do everything big. Yeah, even his mother said he was the biggest fool she ever knew. <laughs> like everything else here in Was, stocks are a little different. Stocks are part store, part odds. Think of a store that delivers trouble. Well, stocks are up. Not for long. Stocks are dropping. What in darn 
station. Up <laughs> in Hornswoggle. Stop that, you money hungry feathered freak. Sorry, stock's dropped. Listen, Pee Wee, your ideas have been nothing but trouble. That's what happens when you have money. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Uh, he's right, Croc. Maybe we should give away that money tree. I'd sooner give you away. He still isn't going to give back my money tree. We'll do it my way this time. We're taking it back. Stop, you thieves. I stole that first. Give me that. Give me that. Out of my way, you feathered freaks. Brilliant, Hoppo. Got any more big ideas? Gosh, that's the second tree we've killed today. How sad. You want to know something sadder? This tree made us act just like Croc. Bumble Lion's right. We're friends in need who became friends in greed. Yeah, and I almost made enemies here instead of friends. I learned something, too. You can lead a snorse to water, but you can't get it to sit on a whoopee cushion. Uh huh? Uh -huh. I never was good at learning lessons. <laughs> okay, guys, here are your costumes. I hope they're new, original, special. Not a ghost of a chance. <laughs> and here's one for you, Tycoon. Welcome to Waz. Well, we learned that these Wuzzles may not have the best costumes, but by being friends, they'll have the best time. Of course, we also learned the snorses don't sit on whoopee cushions. <laughs> and now, these messages. It's that time of year again, and Cadbury has hatched up milk chocolate mini eggs for Easter, made with Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate. Inside the crisp sugar shell is a chunk of thick and creamy Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate. That's why mini eggs give you a chocolate experience that is so special. Although Easter isn't here yet, Cadbury's mini eggs are, so discover for yourself which comes first, the bunnies or the eggs. Hurry up, it's done! Milk does the body. Milk does the body good. Wash it off. Check it out. It's so cool for hanging out. It helps you grow big and tall. It's good for tea. It does not all. Ah! It does. Hey, Mr. Moo, what do you say? Fresh Moo juice makes my day. Moo. It does the body good. Pass it on. Milk, it does. Milk, it does the body. Milk, it does the body good. Pass it on. Pass it on. Hey, what's all the fuss, Penguin? Expecting company? Oh, yes, yes, yes. The lucky winners of the post cereal, SeaWorld Sweepstakes. Yippee! You could win a trip to SeaWorld when you enter the sweepstakes on the free poster of Shamu. Inside specially marked boxes of honeycomb and super golden crisp cereal. Winners get to meet Shamu. And all the winter get SeaWorld stickers. Yeah. Details on specially marked boxes. Odds of winning determined by entries received. For free entry, write post P.O. Box 853A, Churchill, Maryland, 21690. Maybe you'll win. Has anyone ever forgotten your birthday? Birthday Bear tries to remind everyone of her big day on the Care Bears family next. Tonight, Ernie finds the kind of cash that could get him killed on Sidekicks. And tomorrow, the Disney Sunday movie takes a proud look back at a magical man as Tony Danza hosts Disney Goes to the Academy Awards. This is ABC. It's Ken and new Jewel Secrets Barbie with three fabulous secrets. We girls love lots of jewels to wear. Right, Barbie? Jewel Secrets Barbie. Jewel Secrets. Wow. Step out of that gown for a night on the town. Jewel Secrets. Just right for a disco night. Barbie has one more secret. Her ball gown is a purse. For you. Jewel Secrets Barbie doll has three dazzling looks with matching play jewels. Ken Dossel separately. New for Mattel. Mm -hmm. 
Turkey. Rainbow Bright has a new cereal with fruit flavor and bright colors. Colors? Let's see. New Rainbow Bright brand cereal. Sweet, fruity rainbows of bright color. A yummy part of this complete breakfast. That aisle, Mirko. A blue cloud. No match for Rainbow Bright. Oh, oh no. We're full of colors. Idiot, we hate colors. No worked out breakfast for us. Fruit flavor, colorful bites. Rainbow Bright. Into a land filled with darkness came a little girl with a mission. After proving herself to be worthy and brave, she became known as Rainbow Bright. Now along with her magnificent horse Starlight and her loyal and true friends Twink and the Color Kids, she lives far away in Rainbow Land, a wonderful place full of color and happiness. Using the power of the rainbow, her magical color belt and the star sprinkles, Rainbow Bright and her friends protect Rainbow Land, fighting off the forces of darkness and gloom and the devious plots of Murky and Lurky so that they can bring color and happiness to people everywhere. Mom, your grandma, twin. Yeah, they just arrived. Introducing Cabbage Patch Kids Twins. It doesn't happen very often. Congratulations, Frank. Oh, we just heard. They're okay, so well. cute. What's her name? This is Emma Lowe, and this is Diana Marie. Emma Blue is the chubby one. That's Diana Marie. How is my Diana Marie? That's Emma Lowe. Oh, no, I heard this one was Emma. Wrong enough. The Cabbage Patch Kids twins. They arrive together with special adoption papers. I got a wazoo, I'm gonna snuggle. Hey, Papa Potamus. Cuddly as can be, cause she's part hippo and part I'm gonna snuggle. Name's Bumbleye. Cute as he can be, cause he is part lion and part bumblebee. I got a wazzle, I'm gonna snuggle. Name's Oliver. Funny, yes siree, cause he's part elephant, part kangaroo. Oh, wow. Give me a snuggle, wazzle. Wazzles come with their own storybooks sold separately from Hasbro Softies. When we set out to create a totally new cookie, we started from scratch with our finest ingredients. Whipped into a new dough that's creamier, smoother than you could possibly make at home. Introducing new Pillsbury's Best Cookies. The richest, the chewiest, the chocolatiest cookie we ever made. Think we're bragging, huh? Just put our cookie where your mouth is. And now, Rainbow Bright. Yeah. <laughs> 
This year's best show pony. We won! We won! I knew we could do it. Now Cabbage Patch Kids have their own purebred show pony. A pony! Wow! Here's the registration papers. And you can name him yourself. I think we'll call him Harvey. <laughs> pony ride! Pony ride! Step right up and get your pony ride. The Cabbage Patch Kids show pony. Some come with Cabbage Patch Kids in special western gear. Everybody up! Only ten hours, beauty sleep. Today we go to the park. Wow! Mouth is a b s b. Boy, get rough a bone. Park, park. Mouth is a b s b. Oh, you're very rough a bone. Muffet babies are soft, cuddly, and cute as can be. Mouth is a b s b. Oh no, the gal piggy. Kermie Carter. You're wonderful, Kermie. So are you, piggy. Muffet babies, each sold separately. New from Hasbro Softies. And now, Rainbow Bright. jobs are the ones that are really worth doing. But we've still got the whole outside of the color castle to paint. Well, maybe we'll find a way to do that. And now there's what, Margaret? Notice that precious Rainbow Bright isn't what they think. <laughs> she looks the same to me, Margaret. This time it's Rainbow Bright herself who's going to help me take over Rainbow Land. <laughs> oh boy, look at the pretty colors. Down, down, down. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> he loves you. Have we got everything we came to this depressing place for? Here they are, Mickey. I got them out of that. <laughs> what a hideous sight. Come on, let's get back to the pits. And nothing like that will ever bother anyone again. Star sprinkles, a battery, oil can, and the crowning achievement. <laughs> Thank you. 
Rainbow Bright's belt. Boys, Marky, we've been trying to get that belt for years and years and how did we do it? We didn't do it, Butterbrain. This is how we're going to do it. Marky, it's Rainbow Bright right here in the pit. Come in, sit down. Would you like a cookie? This isn't Rainbow Bright. Uh, who are you? She sure looks like Rainbow Bright. That, my friend, is the whole idea. <laughs> I built this Rainbow Bright. She'll do whatever I tell her to do. And I'm going to tell her to wreck Rainbow Land. And everyone will do what she says. Because she's Rainbow Bright. <laughs> Uh, Marky, she's not doing anything. That's because I haven't wound her up yet, Drizzle Breath. Come on, let's go say goodbye to Rainbow Land. <laughs> You're going to stay here and make sure we have enough. <laughs> Thank you. We'll take as much as we can carry, and then you bring the rest to the color castle as soon as you can. You can count on us, Rainbow. Okay, come on. Everybody get to work. This is it. This is our chance. <laughs> okay, wind her up. That's enough. She'll run for hours now. Go on and do your job, Rainbow Bright. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I changed my mind, Twink. I want you to bring all the color crystals to the pit instead. To the pit? But Rainbow! Murky and Lurky deserve to have a beautiful spring too, Twink. They do? Just do as I tell you, Twink. Okay. Boy, these color crystals aren't as strong as they used to be. A Rainbow sure put on a lot of weight over the winter. Mm. It may be spring cleaning time, but we still have to keep the nights full of color. Rainbow! How did you get up here so fast? You were just... <laughs> we have to work fast, Moonglow. Did you come up here for color crystals? <laughs> Is that yes or no? Yes. Spring nights have to be especially beautiful. Don't worry about the nights. Don't worry about them, Rainbow. Fill up your baskets with color crystals and take them all to the pit. <laughs> to the pit? It's very important. Very im very important. Are you feeling okay? Fine. I'm just fine. Now get to work. You're sure you're all right? I'm fine. <laughs> well, if she says it's important, she must have a very good reason. It sure is funny that she didn't understand you. We did it! We did it! What did we do? We fooled them. And now we'll have all the color crystals. And Rainbow Bright will never make anything beautiful again. Yeah.
find out. I'll be in the color cave. I've got to make sure the sprites don't bring any more color crystals to the pit. <laughs> <laughs> it's her horse. He saw her. <laughs> Hi, Starlight. I came to help you carry the color crystals to the pits. Thank you. Why don't you show me which ones you want? She fooled him. She even fooled Rainbow Bright's own horse. <laughs> Rainbow Land is going to be mine. Boy, Murky, I sure hope she doesn't get stuck again. She can't get stuck. I can't reach her from here. Let's go over there. Over there. Over there. No, don't get stuck. 
luck. It's just as I suspected. She's not real. Calm down, everyone. I'll explain it to you. Of course, and Murky doesn't suspect a thing. Let's get her down. <laughs> She's a robot. <laughs> She's the first thing Murky ever built that worked. And I bet he thinks she's still working. Twix, have we got any star sprinkles at all? Oh, yeah. Here, you and the sprites go down this side of the hill, away from Murky. Get the color kids and get all the color crystals back from the pit. But Murky will stop us if... No, he won't. Oh, she didn't get stuck. I don't think he'll come out if you're here. I'll just wind her up again. I think I'll send you down to the color castle next. You can wreck the place. Where's the wind-up key? You're the one who's getting wound up, Murky Dismal. Yeah, it's her! You have to get up pretty early in the morning to fool the most magnificent horse in the universe. Presenting Ronald McDonald in Ryman with Fries. Here comes Ronald with a special surprise. Here he comes. A whole basket of delicious McDonald's French fries. Oh, man. Every once in a while, somebody tries a new trick for grabbing those wonderful fries. But Ronald's not fooled. It's those wacky fry guys. It's a good time. How'd you know it was us, Ronald? Because you're the only guys who ride with fries. <laughs> oh, the great taste of McDonald's. jewelry to everyone else, but it turns into playthings when you're by yourself. A Sweet Secrets comb becomes a bed where Sweet Secrets can rest her head. A beautiful Sweet Secrets brush turns into a car when she's in a rush. How come you look so good? It's my Sweet Secret. Sweet Secrets comb and brush, each sold separately, new from the lube.
Dream Club Beach. This ought to be good. <laughs> well, Luther, I'm waiting. Oh, sorry. These are my friends, the Beverly Hills team. We're the most outrageous, glamorous, and fun-loving group you'll ever meet. Join the fun with the Beverly Hills team. Tomorrow at 3.30. Oh, look at those little baby kittens. Pam Prairie, you're so soft and pretty. Come on home, poor little lonely kitty. All these lonely, lovable Pam Prairie's newborns are waiting for you to rescue them. Mittens meet Fluffy. Pam Prairie's newborns love to hide, get in trouble. You're Prairie Prairie. Or just plain snuggle. I'll always take care of you. Pam Prairie, you have someone you can purr about. Pam Prairie's newborns, each sold separately. New from Tonka. Here comes new Barbie Splash Cycle. You put it together. Tropical Barbie dolls sold separately. We girls love to make a big splash. Right, Barbie? Splash Cycle. It floats. In water on the beach. <laughs> no legs out of reach. Let's unpack. Don't get afraid. Off to new hideaway. We girls can do anything. Right, Barbie? Barbie Splash Cycle. Comes with all the beach gear you see here. Tropical Barbie dolls sold separately. New from Mattel. your Mapletown families in their Mapletown playroom. Let's hide Patty's birthday present in the closet. She'll never look here. Each playroom comes with its own furniture. You put it together. Happy birthday, Patty. Make a wish. Carrot cake, my favorite. Living each day, we laugh and we play. My favorite place to be. Mapletown and me. Patty Rabbit, Bobby Bear, Rabbit Family, Living Room, Dining Room, and Bedroom all sold separately. New from Tonka. Wow, Jet. It sounds like that spring fling dance tonight is going to be real rad. Uh-oh, for sure. Primo to the extremo. I see even Pierce is working on his tan. Tan nothing. These are mirrors. There's nothing like admiring oneself in triplicate. <laughs> we wouldn't be having this dance if it weren't for Chanel. She organized the entire thing. Hey, no sweat, guys. That's part of a club president's job. Oh, don't be so modest, Chanel. You can do absolutely anything. <sighs> Except getting me a date, that is. Forget it, Chester. Any girl your age would have to be back in her crib by 6 o'clock. <laughs> My gorgeous hair! Who's doing that? I might have known. What a bummer. I ran out of gas at 12,000 feet. Goodness, how awful. You might have been killed. Then we'd be even for what he did to my hair. Bradley, you coming to this spring fling tonight? 
No way would I miss it. This dude is a believer in Boogie Fever. Well, I guess I'll be getting back to my lab. Later, Chester. What's going down? The boy genius is severely dragging. Poor Chester. He has no one to take to tonight's dance. Ouch. What a major bummer. Intensely to the max. Oh, I'd love to go to that spring fling dance. But all the teen club girls think I'm too young for them. I wonder if Albert Einstein had this same problem. Uh, if only I were as good with girls as I am with computers. Girls. Computers. That's it. I'll create my own girl. Let's see. Age 17, eyes blue, hair blonde. This may not benefit mankind, but it'll certainly be good for boykind. Now, to connect the electrostatic terminals to the life function simulators, We haven't even gone out yet, and sparks are already beginning to fly. There. Now, I'll just program her for maximum devotion. All systems, go! Hello, you great big handsome hunk. Wow! I've never been called a handsome hunk before. I've never been called big, either. I'm so happy to meet you. Thank you. And now to test the most important program of all, the cut in, cut off. Excuse me, miss. I'm sorry, but no cutting in. It works. She's perfection in the flesh. Or, I mean, the polyurethane. You say the most romantic things. <gasps> I'd better adjust the affection connection. Finally, after hours of work, my hair is now in shape for tonight's dance. What do you do? Oh, wow. Oh, will you look at that? Look at what? I can't see a thing. It's Chester. With a dynamite-looking doll. Hi guys! Chester, where'd you find the awesome chick? She's like totally unreal. Er, yes, you might say that. Who is she? Your babysitter? What's her name? Er, Robot A. Her, I mean, Roberta. She's my date for the spring fling dance. Ooh, I can hardly wait until I'm in your manly arms. <laughs> You mean, she really is your girlfriend? Certainly. Even us hard-working geniuses like a little rest and relaxation once in a while. Come along, Roberta. We must prepare for tonight's festivities. Ciao. Zowie wowie. Like, how did Chester manage to score a dynamite fox like that? I don't know. But they sure look happy together. Really? We'll see about that. Now, what shall I wear to the dance tonight? Something daring and dramatic? Or do I feel shy and coquettish? It's the phone. Probably one of my loyal fans. Now, where did I put that thing? Ah, there it is. Hello. Uh, ah, <laughs> But you've got the wrong number. This is not the doctor's office. Nikki, it's me. Yes. I won't be able to take you to the dance tonight. I just came down with this miserable cold. A cold? In the springtime? 
That's right. In fact, I think I'm running a spring fever. <coughs> <coughs> Piers, you'd better go straight to bed. That's exactly what I planned to do. See you later. If I live. Wow. And I thought I was melodramatic. Piers, you sly devil. How could you do such a thing? It's easy when you have no conscience. I'll meet you inside, Lark. All right, Troy. <laughs> Park your car, sir. Go for it, dude. How weird. I hear a car, but I don't see one. <laughs> That's because it's not a car. Installing that anti-gravity air suspension system certainly makes for a smooth ride. You're as brilliant as you are handsome. Uh, may I fly? I mean, park your uh, thing, sir? That won't be necessary. Its internal navigation system is equipped with a turbo tracker and curb sensor. Automate and engage first available parking space. It's this sort of thing that could put me out of a job. Shall we, my dear? I'd love to, my darling. Hi, Blaze. Hi, Radley. Hey, Chester. You really scored yourself one primo jig. Thanks a lot. Uh, uh, just like I did. And now I'm going to score. Some points with Roberta, that is. Hey, Chester, maybe I could interest you in a pair of stilts? Oh. Very amusing, Pierce. I just adore shorter men. Hold everything. It looks like Chester brought along one of his inventions. What's this, Chester? One of your little toys? It happens to be a remote burglar alarm for my laboratory. Now, if you'll excuse us. Come along, Roberta. I'm eager to dance. Whatever you say, my precious. My precious? What can she possibly see in that little fizz of a physicist? I'd better leave this here. Excessive vibrations while boogieing might damage its extremely delicate circuitry. Of course, the burglar alarm. Strangely enough, that gadget is going to help me steal something, namely Roberta. But don't go away, Beverly Hills Tears will be right back. Phew! Those lonely pound puppies really need to be rescued. Pound puppy, I'm so glad to find you. Put that lonely puppy pound behind you. You need a name. I'll call you Freckle. Lots of pound puppies need your love. I and when they're this lonely and this lovable, one more is always welcome. Come share in all our cousin Karen puppy love. Pound puppies. Each sold separately. From Tonka. Introducing Lady Lovely Locks, her friends, and Pixie Tail Magic. Lady Lovely Locks Maiden Fair Hair and Maiden Curly Crown Dolls sold separately, each with three pixie tails new from Mattel. Pironi! You can taste the fun of make-believe with Chef Boy RD. Mmm, animal shape. Pac-Man! You can go anywhere you want to be with Chef Boy RD. Pac-Man! Mmm, tastes great! Yeah, and good for us! Tomorrow, ABC! Season one, two, three. Thank goodness for the fun of Chef Boy RD. Excuse me. Hello. We're back.
I should have brought my knitting. At least my hands would get some exercise. Those fellas are paying more attention to Chester's date than they are to us. Yeah, the guys are behaving very immaturely, even for guys. Well, you have to admit she is gorgeous. Way to move, buddy. Bradley, either you start dancing or I start walking. Out the door, that is. I, I was just going to ask you, Blaze. No lie. Come on, Blaze. Let's boogie down. Serpent style. You mean like this? Hey, you're pretty good. That's really weird. Because I don't even know what I'm doing. Boy, all that dancing really gave me an appetite. Appetite? You know, eat like this. See how I did that? Now you try. Roberta's so perfect, she hardly seems real. Well, maybe not exactly perfect. Man, today's surf report didn't say anything about snow. Now, now, Roberta, remember your diet. Come along, dear. It's back to the dance floor for us. Whatever you say, my precious. Aha, uh -huh. now's my chance to put Operation Burglar Alarm into action. Now, to figure out how this contraption works. Ah, here we are, the test button. Perfect. Excuse me, Chester. I'm sorry, but no cutting in. It's okay, Roberta. I just wanted to tell Chester about his burglar alarm. What about my burglar alarm? Oh my gosh, my lab has been robbed! What do I do? Hey, no problem, Chester. You go take care of your lab. I'll take care of Roberta. Are you sure this isn't an imposition? Of course it is. But what are friends for? Thank you, Pierce. I'll see you in a bit, Roberta! You'll see her in something, all right, in my arm. Roberta, you certainly are one lucky lady. Have I ever told you how I won the gold cup in the Beverly Hills dance competition? Ooh, I can hardly wait until I'm in your manly arms. Dear Thorndike the Third, this is going to be your lucky night. Ow. It was only a false alarm. I can't understand it. It's never malfunctioned before. Huh? I think Pierce is taking care of Roberta a little too well. I just love your eyes, mostly because I can see my reflection in them. You say the most romantic things. Okay, Pierce, I'm back. I'll take care of Roberta now. I'm sorry, but no cutting in. But Roberta, it's me, your great big handsome hunk. You heard the lady, Chester. Besides, isn't it way past your bedtime? Ah ha ha ha. Females. Sure hope Pierce appreciates this.
May I help you, young lady? I brought poor, sick, here's some chicken soup to help him through his tragic illness. Illness? What illness? You know, his awful cold. Uh, apparently you are mistaken. Master Pierce left for the spring fever dance over two hours ago. The spring fling? But he told me he was practically on his deathbed. You must be mistaken. I assure you, young lady, Master Pierce is in excellent health. Really? Well, he won't be when I get through with him. <sighs> Betrayed by my own creation. Let's move over here where the light picks up the shimmering highlights of my hair. There, isn't that better? I'm sorry, but no cutting in. You sure say that a lot, don't you? Whatever you say, my precious. So, there you are, you two-faced, two-timing toad. Nikki. I thought you said you had a cold. Uh, I did. But, but you have no idea how fantastic these new miracle drugs are. I've got a cure, too. A cure for the common bozo. My hair! It's rude! Somebody called the scab squad. Hello, you great big handsome hunks. You say the most romantic things. I'm so happy to meet you. Oh, no! The soup is causing Roberta to short circuit. Man, dig that Roberta! She's totally amped! To the max! Wow, check out that new dance Roberta's doing! She's really good! Goodness, your friend Roberta can certainly electrify a crowd! Yes, in more ways than one! She's not a her, she's an it. Roberta was only a robot. Farewell, Roberta. You were a fun date while your electrodes lasted. Chester, you dear, sensitive soul. Who, me? Yes, you. I feel that anyone who goes through the trouble of creating a partner for a dance deserves a real one. But what are you saying, Nikki? I'm saying, would you be my date for the evening? Would I? You bet! Well, what are we standing around for? Is this a dance or what? You heard the lady! Let's party! And a one, and a two, and a... You know something, Nikki? You're more my speed anyway. Not my height, but my speed. Geniuses. Fooey. You mind, big guy? We're all out of potato chips. Mmm, very tasty. Breakfast beverage crystals. Are you ready? Now it's all natural flavors. Are you ready for the big orange taste of new tang? Hear anything? Negative. Sunkiss searches high and low for fun fruit trees. The only trees funny enough to grow Sunkiss fun fruits. <laughs> Sun-kissed fun fruits are made with only the funniest fruits. That's why fun fruits are so much fun to eat. Sun-kissed fun fruits. Every chewy one is real fruity fun.
Once upon a time, far, far away in the land of Lovely Lux, there lived a beautiful girl named Lady Lovely Lux and her friends, the Pixie Tails. In this magical land were a handsome prince, a kindly wizard, and a very jealous girl named Raven Waves. Come into this magical world and share their adventures. Saturday mornings at 6.30 on TV14. Hello, I'm Lady Lovely Lux, and I'd like to welcome you to the kingdom of Lovely Lux. I'm so glad you could join me and my magical friends, the Pixie Tales, today. Lovely Lux is a magical land where beauty and goodness reign. I was just walking through one of our beautiful gardens. Most of the time when I visit my looking room, I can see how happy all the people are here. But wonderful as the kingdom is, we are not without our problems. Living in our land is the jealous Duchess Raven Waves. She is constantly trying to take over the kingdom for herself. She thinks that all she needs to do is to cut a lock of my hair and enter my looking room. This isn't true at all, but keeping her from making trouble takes up a lot of our time. Otherwise, this land is filled with so many wonderful friends. Friendship is very important to me, and I have a lot of very special friends, like Maiden Fairhair and Maiden Curly Crown, who are going to join me later for tea. We have known each other forever and ever, and have been friends through fun and exciting times. I know I can depend on them. Silky Mane is my noble horse. She understands everything I say. We've been through many adventures together. Shining Glory is a most wise wizard. Although he is blind, he often sees much more than anyone else. I ask his advice all the time. He always has so much to teach me, and I have so much to learn. Prince is a truly loyal friend. Although he is only a dog, he is always saving me from the most difficult situations. I often wonder how he can be there just when I need him. My friends are always doing amazing and daring deeds. I'm so happy that they are around when I need them the most. Let's watch and see how they help me in this exciting adventure. The time I stayed away from the kingdom far too long. Once upon a time, there was a land ruled by a beautiful lady named Lady Lovely Lux and her magical friends, the Pixie Tails. It was a land of spells and enchantments and a prince who was made to bear a cruel curse. There was also a duchess named Raven Waves who plotted wicked schemes to take over the land of Lovely Locks. All that stands in her way is Lady Lovely Locks and the love she holds for her kingdom. These are her stories. It's Enchanted Island Lady Lovely Locks. Ooh, made in Golden Waves. The Pixie Tails want to give us new hairstyles. They comb her long silky curls and pin them up in pretty swirls with the magic only you and Pixie Tails can do. Pixie Tails in our hair, too. Lady Lovely Locks says, Thank you to the Pixie Tails who style her beautiful hair. Enchanted Island Lady Lovely Locks doll comes with three Pixie Tails made in Golden Waves sold separately from Mattel. From the world of Lady Lovely Locks comes more Pixie Tail magic. With Silky Mane. Comb her hair so long and fair. Now there's color everywhere. Wow, Silky Mane. Her secret is the Pixie Tail she wears in her beautiful hair. And here's Silky Pup, too, with more Pixie Tail magic that's fun to do. Figures sold separately. Pixie Tails go everywhere, even in your own hair. <laughs> The land of Lovely Lox is ordinarily a peaceful place, thanks to the presence of Lady Lovely Lox. Once, she traveled afar and almost stayed away from the kingdom too long. Stayed away so long had I known the kingdom 
was in danger. <laughs> Another there. Don't rush home, Lady Lovely Locks. Everything is fine here, Lady Lovely Locks. <laughs> Welcome back to your crumbling kingdom, Lady Lovely Locks. Enjoy it while you can. It'll soon be mine. That's right, ride right on. I've got all sorts of welcome home surprises waiting for you. All right, Silky Mane. We'll slow down, but just for a bit, dear friend. There's only one way to stop this destruction. I must get to my looking room deep within Lovely Locks Castle. <laughs> from here. magical hair. Then I'll have her power. And I won't forget your help, Hairball. I can bear this no longer, Shining Glory. Have you seen the future? Yes. And I see trouble for your lady. She needs our help. But you know of my curse, Shining Glory. If I leave your crystal, it can only be in the form of a dog. Forget not the crystal about your neck. With it, you can become strong heart for brief moments. But never in Lady's presence. Things are as they are. Outside of the crystal, you are a dog, and I am blind. So... Serve as a dog, as best you can. Lady Lovely Locks, wait! Here! Oh, we thought you'd never arrive! We sent so many letters begging you to return quickly! I sense Ravenwave's treachery here, Maiden Curly Crown. Treachery? What makes you suspect? We've no time for talk now. Maiden Fairhair is right. We must hurry to the castle at all costs. Oh, oh, my God. Back! Back, all of you! You 
You don't want to scare the horse. Precious lady, lovely lots might fall and hurt her precious self, and then, oh my, what would we do? What do you want, Raven Waves? I've seen the magic your hair creates in the looking room. I'll have your hair, then the kingdom! <laughs> so much. I'll never be tricked into staying away from my looking room so long again. And my thanks to you, Prince. You are truly a noble animal. And your most loyal friend, Lady. As you could see in that exciting story, the kingdom was saved from disaster just in time. With troublemakers like Duchess Ravenwaves in the world, it's important to have friends we can depend on. I'm a very lucky person because I have such good friends in my life. Maiden's fair hair and curly crown, the pixie tails, silky mane, shining glory, prince, and all the wonderful people in the kingdom. Good friends should know how much they mean to us. I try to let all the wonderful people in my life know how special they are. I'm sure there are people in your life who make you feel happy. Take a minute to think about all the people you love. Have you told them lately how happy you feel because they are your friends? It makes people feel good to know you think about them. Be sure to let them know. Good friends, especially friends you've known a long time, stick with you through good times and bad. They know your faults and your good points and tell you the truth. Even in a magical place like the land of Lovelylocks, I make mistakes sometimes. 
I depend on my friends to help me. I'm always excited when I meet new people. My head is full of questions I want to ask them. I want to learn all about them. Maybe they will become friends too. But I've run into a few problems from time to time. In my next adventure, Maiden Fairhair and Maiden Curly Crown and I were excitedly preparing for the grand ball. We were in such a hurry, I didn't take the time I should have to see whether someone was really a friend. Maple Town and me. You can play with your Maple Town families in their Maple Town playroom. Let's hide Patty's birthday present in the closet. She'll never look here. Each playroom comes with its own furniture. You put it together. Happy birthday, Patty. Make a wish. Carrot cake, my favorite. Living each day, we laugh and we play. My favorite place to be. Patty Rabbit, Bobby Bear, Rabbit Family, Living Room, Dining Room, and Bedroom all sold separately. New from Tonka. Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the part of this complete breakfast that goes... Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Have you heard how good they are? Welcome to the Colgate Party Time. The fresh gel from Colgate, everyone. So come along and join the fun. It's the Jets for Kool-Aid Coolers. When you're on your feet, put it on the show. Never miss a feed, never miss a feed. What tastes so fruity? Super juicy. With 20% real fruit juice. Kool-Aid Coolers make it cool. Again, as another perfect day in the land of Lady Lovely Locks. But this was a very special day, for it was the day of Lady's Grand Ball. But before the next sunrise came, Lady Lovely Locks would know the meaning of terror and trickery and true love. I don't care for the color of those ribbons. Pinks and blues would be much better. My pixie tails are busy preparing the grounds. And mine are out gathering flowers. Whoops! Don't worry. My pixie tails will handle this job. <laughs> they so want to help. Pixie sparkle, pixie shine, pixie beauty, we need your help. Yes, we are. Those ribbons are all wrong. We need pink and blue. Could you please help us? What is it? with the mysterious Baron Von Tress coming. I hear he's gorgeous. So was the sight of the prince I once saw in Mirror Lake. Wait till you see this newcomer, lady. Prince! We must hurry! Something! 
something's wrong. <laughs> Poor Prince. Whatever could have made you run so fast, so far? He wants me to follow. We'll go with you. No, both of you must stay here and make sure tonight's ball is a success. I'll be fine. Prince will be with me. And my pixie tails will alert me to any danger. Simple a trick and defeat a wizard. <laughs> In this trap you didn't stay, but I don't think you'll get away. Ouch! Oh. I've got to say, Shining Glory, he's outnumbered and he's hurt. Yeah, yeah. Hold enough. Give you something to growl about, you brats. Thank you for your help, sir. Baron von Tretz, old wizard. And it was my honor to assist. Shining Glory's fame is well known in my distant kingdom, as is Lady Lovelock's beauty. Your courage is great, Baron von Tress. I am in your debt for aiding a dear friend. The decorations are complete, Lady Lovely Locks. And I must say, the castle never looked more splendid. Well, I must say I never felt more splendid. Oh, I wonder if this feeling has anything to do with the handsome Baron Von Tress. Blast these old bones of mine. Is your injury serious, Shining Glory? I'm afraid I won't be able to make the ball this evening. You will attend, though, Strongheart. No, Prince the Dog will attend. Perhaps Lady Lovely Locks will have a bone for me to gnaw on. Would you prefer not to go at all? No, I just prefer to go as a man. But at least I'll be able to see her. Remember, tonight is the birth of the full moon. For a fleeting moment, Lady may see your true reflection. Stay close to her tonight, strong heart. Lady is young, still learning the ways of the world. Oh, how I wish I could have all the good people of the kingdom here. Why not go to them? They'd love that. A wonderful suggestion, Baron. Could your driver take us into town? At your service, Lady Lovelocks. Prince! To the village! And drive carefully. We've precious cargo tonight. Precious cargo indeed. <laughs> I must tell you, I enjoyed the costume ball, Lady Lovelocks. It was a ball, Baron Von Tress, but, but not a costume ball. How foolish. I misunderstood. Then off with my costume. Hairball! <laughs> Why do I get the delicious feeling the trap's been sprung? <laughs> Duchess <laughs> Raven Waves only wants one clump of your pretty, pretty hair so she can have your power. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. 
remember, during the birth of the full moon, for one fleeting moment, Lady may see your true reflection. I was to be drawn to one who I thought was a handsome baron. How difficult a lesson that the truth about a person isn't always what they appear to be on the outside. Oh, Prince, I've still so much to learn. <laughs> that was a hair-raising adventure. But I learned a very important lesson. The truth about a person isn't always what they appear to be on the outside. It's important to take the time to get to know someone before you trust them. Thanks to the help of my very loyal friend, Prince, I was saved from Duchess Ravenway's plot. I discovered that someone I thought was a friend was really hairball in disguise. Prince is always there when I need protection. Silky Mane carries me away from danger and gets me out of tangled situations. Shining Glory is loving and wise. He's always willing to share his special knowledge with me. Maiden's fair hair and curly crown are always around to share fun times with me. And of course, there are my very, very special friends, the Pixie Tails, who share their magical qualities and help me keep the kingdom filled with beauty and goodness and laughter. We all have special qualities. Here in the kingdom, we help each other and try to keep this land filled with happiness for one and all. Good friends, wonderful times, happy lives. That is what the land of Lovely Locks is all about. I'm so happy you joined us and got to meet all of my friends. I hope you'll come again to the kingdom of Lady Lovely Locks. We have so many more exciting stories to share with you. I look forward to your next visit to the kingdom. I think you and I can be very good friends. Goodbye for now. See you again soon. Introducing Lady Lovely Locks, her friend, and Pixie Tail Magic. Lady Lovely Locks Maiden Fair Hair and Maiden Curly Crown Dolls sold separately, each with three pixie tails new from Mattel. Hironi! You can taste the fun of make-believe with Chef Boyardee. Mmm, animal shape. Pac-Man! You can go anywhere you want to be with Chef Boyardee. Pac-Man! Mmm, tastes great! Yeah, and good for us! Tomorrow, ABC! In one, two, three. Thank goodness for the fun of Chef Boy RD. Lady Lovely Lost, oh, Lady Lovely Lady.
KTLA Los Angeles. This strawberry shortcake special is brought to you in part by the many worlds of Kenner Toys. Welcome to another day in the life of Strawberry Shortcake. And what a day! She's up early, busy as a bee. Big things are brewing. Just wait and see. Mailman, your snail mail is here. Oh, it looks important. Special, special delivery. See, all the way from Big Apple City. Wow, my shortcake recipe won. I've been selected as one of two finalists in the Big Bake Off. Ooh, la la. And the first prize is going to be a lovely new gazebo. Oh, I can just picture it in my backyard. We all have so much fun. But, but the Bake Off is to be held today in Big Apple City. At the Little Theater of Times Pier. It's going to be on television. Oh, I'll never make it in time. Yes, I will. Oh, Custard, you're an inspiration. Now, if you remember, the letter said Strawberry was one of two contestants. Guess who the other one is? Yep. It's that misanthropic fathead with a skinny physique. The peculiar purple pie man of porcupine pig. <laughs> Lucky berry bear, your master is going to a bake-off in Big Apple City. My kohlrabi cookies are sure to win, eh? <laughs> what do you think? You've tasted them? <laughs> <laughs> Mm, a point well taken. Oh, I do want that pretty gazebo. Therefore, I shall have to enter the contest alone. Beware, strawberry shortcake. <laughs> oh, my. I've got to pack and wash up and make game reservations and lock the door and thousands and thousands of things. What a day. Hit hooray. She got a special letter and she's on her way. Bouncy as a bubble of champagne. Gotta catch the very first plane. Off she goes. She's gonna be a winner, you just wait and see. We'll be saying that we knew her when. No doubt about it, she's a perfect ten. Just wait and see this strawberry. We'll soon be sitting pretty. Golly gee, a strawberry will be the toast of Big Apple City. Strawberry toast in Big Apple City. We'll return to Strawberry Shortcake after these messages. Baby Hugs, quit trying to hug that butterfly. You're the one who needs looking after Baby Tugs. Introducing Graham's Bear, Baby Hugs Bear, and Baby Tugs Bear. Each sold separately. Anyone see my shawl? Hang on to Graham's shawl, Hugs. We need the cookies. Wait, Tugs, your diaper's slipping. Phew, thanks. Now for a cookie. Whoops, but smart little cookies for finding Graham's shawl. <laughs> if she only do. <laughs> Each sold separately, Graham's Bear, Baby Hugs Bear, and Baby Tugs Bear are three of the Care Bears. You. I don't want to grow up, but my Toys R Us kids. They got a million toys at Toys R Us that she can play with. I don't want to grow up, but my Toys R Us kids. They got the basket so much less you really flip your little bikes to trains. They got the Grow up, baby. If I did, I couldn't be a Toys R Us kid. Boy, games, more toys, no fun. I want to be a Toys R Us kid. 
Introducing Rainbow Bright and Starlight, each sold separately. You could use a rainbow. Oh, who are you? I'm Rainbow Bright. This is my horse, Starlight. Come on, Starlight. Let's be happy like a rainbow. Rainbow Bright. Wow, you're full of rainbows. Rainbow Bright and Starlight dolls each sold separately. The world of Rainbow Bright is new by Mattel. And now back to Strawberry Shortcake. Phew. Well, sometimes days just take off like a skyrocket. <laughs> yeah, Strawberry and her friends really had to race to make the last plane to Big Apple City. Matter of fact, it was the only plane to Big Apple City. Because Strawberryland Airlines consists of one very large butterfly. And that's it. Flight 7, now ready for boarding. Have your Barry boarding pass ready. Oh, I'm going to miss you all so very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye, everybody. Good, Good luck, luck, Strawberry. Fasten your seatbelts. Hello. Hello. I've made clear weather for you. All the way to Big Apple City. Big Apple City, tough, wise, and witty is ready and waiting for you. Golden and gritty, world's greatest city. Here all your dreams will come true. Oh, I'm sure glad I made a reservation. Reservation? Hmm. Now, we have no reservation for a strawberry short thing. Oh, but, but there's got to be. Where will I sleep? Well, there's no reservations, at least for a week. She fell for it. <laughs> Who am I? I'm that sneak. The peculiar purple pie man of porcupine peak. Yes, ta 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 A park. Sentimental park. Excuse me, you're standing in the way. Oh, in the way of what? I can't see what I'm painting. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you an artist? Uh-huh. Are you famous? My name's Orange Blossom. Ever heard of me? Nope. Oh, then I'm not famous. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. I'm one of the finalists in the big TV bake-off at the Little Theater of Times Fair. Maybe they put my picture on TV. Great idea. Oh, it, it's a painting of the seashore. Uh-huh. But you're looking at a park. I looked at the seashore last week, but I didn't have my paint. So I remember. Next week I'll paint this park when I'm in the mountain. Something else. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> Nobody ever called me something else before, so I guess I like you too. Wanna ride on the swing? Sure. What's your name? How you do? You're alone. I am too. You like me? I like you. What's to do? Let's be friends. Got a dog? I do too. Go to school? I do too. Like to play? I do too. I, I like, like you. Let's be friends. New friends, true friends, good times and blue friends. New friends will someday grow old. But a friend who has friends can never, never grow cold. Like to
village. Wow. I'm just an out-of-towner. Would you like to stay with me? Huh? There's lots of room down in Spinach Village. Come on. Goodness, it's taking forever for this light to change. And we can't cross the street to get the subway until it does. But it never will change, for I have sabotaged all the traffic lights on Big Five. They'll never turn red. <laughs> How will we ever get down to Spinach Village? Caramba! Something tells me this is not Acapulco. No, this is Big Apple City. But what do I do now? I got no place to sleep. I don't know nobody in Big City Apple. Apple City. Whatever. Why don't you stay with us down in Spinach Village? Spinach as village? Maybe it ain't Acapulco, but it sounds just as sandy. Let's go. We can till the light changes and we can cross to the subway. Who says? I, Tomali Demo, will dig our own subway. All the way to Spiritual's village. Follow me. <laughs> Our very own subway. Think they can foil me? Never! I'll go over to the little theater off Times Fair and foul things up for her. <laughs> <laughs> I can't cross the street! Hoisted by my own petard! <laughs> Give me those balloons! Shortcake, you'll never win that big off! It's gonna be bad berries for you! <laughs> we'll return to Strawberry Shortcake after these messages. Long ago at Rose Petal Place, a teardrop turned a sprinkling can into the Rose Petal Cottage. You must put it together. Rose Petal, where are you? Up here, Iris. I see you through the skylight. Am I late for the party? You're early. It's tomorrow. Pull out a chair. I'll sing. La, 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 You're la. tough, Rose Petal. <laughs> Doll sold separately. The Rose Petal Cottage comes with all you see here. Iris and Rose Petal dolls sold separately. New from Kenner. I think good luck bears up to something. Oh, that lucky clover. Oh, disgusting. It's the Care Bears and Professor Coldheart, each sold separately. It's a treasure map. You care, good luck bear. Right, Cheer Bear, but where's Bedtime Bear? Phew, I'm hot and tired. Want something cold? <laughs> cool, Professor Coldheart. Yikes. Hot diggity treasure. Care Bears have all the luck. <laughs> Professor Coldheart with Frozen Mini Mug is new. Other Care Bears, each sold separately. From Kenner. Let's get ready for the Halloween party. Wow, it's going to be spooky and fun. Let's shake up our natural light sticks. And shine in the dark. Let's light up the jack-o'-lantern. And let's light up our monster faces. Oh, yeah! A Viewmaster light-up light stick comes with every jack-o'-lantern or monster head, each sold separately. Or you can buy light sticks alone. Light up monster heads, light up inflatable jack-o'-lantern, and the light stick itself, each sold separately. And now, back to Strawberry Shortcake. Well, ten minutes later, on Cherry Lane, in the heart of Spinach Village... Now stop! Spinach has village! Welcome to where I live. Let me introduce you all around. This is where Lemon Meringue lives. She's a beautiful model. Just a minute, I'm primping. Lemon Meringue, this is Strawberry Shortcake. Oh, charmed, I'm sure. Me too. Orange Blossom says you're a famous model. Oh, yes. Haven't you seen my pictures? They're everywhere. 
Where? Well, my mother has a set, and my brother has a set, and my aunt Edna has a whole bunch, and the rest yes, of Yes, well, I want to introduce her to tea and honey. T and Honey is a scientist and inventor. She comes all the way from London, England. Tolly ho! T, I want you to meet Strawberry Shortcake. It's a great pleasure. Quite. Ditto. Sit, sit, and all that. Strawberry's here for the big TV bake-off. I say. Smash what? Good show. Thank you. And last, but certainly least, is Apricot. She's just a baby. Oh, she's the tiniest apple dumpling back home. Hello, dear. Can you say hello? Well, <laughs> what can you say? Salutations. <gasps> <laughs> she can only say a few words, but they're all big. Expedition. Fragmentation. My. Goodness! Oh, and is that your little bunny? And do bed up me. His name is Hopsalot. Apricot and Hopsalot are always together. Inseparable. I want all my new friends to come up to Times Fair and watch the Bake Off. Ripping idea! I'd be happy to add my loveliness. Affirmation. We'll all ride in a handsome cat. Horseradish, horseradish. Now, there was a television studio inside that theater, and the vice president in charge of everything was Mr. Coco Nutwork, the one man network. On the air! From Big Apple City, we present the Big Bake Off. Starring Strawberry Shortcake and the peculiar Purple Pie Man of Porcupine Peach. And the Big Bake Off judge himself, Coco Nutwork. Here's Coco. Thank you, thank you. Contestants, check your stove. Mine's just peachy. Oh, mine's covered with ice. More like a refrigerator than a stove. <laughs> Goodness, we need a scientist to fix that. Try and find one. <laughs> Tea, you're a scientist? Quite. Stiff upper, allow me. Have a go at it. Why, it's all fixed. Smash what? Carry on. You bet. Nya, 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 nya. I'm way ahead of you. My batter's already mixed. Soon my cold rabbi cookies will be baking in that stove. <laughs> Everybody's a critic nowadays. Ah, go ahead, strawberry. Mix your batter. Oh, someone's been tampering with my ingredients. Instead of milk, I've got chalk water. Axle grease instead of butter. Plaster instead of flour. And bubble gum instead of strawberries. Somebody's got to get to the supermarket quick. Caramba! We must save strawberry. They'll never get back in time to help you. 
worse, they never look. Sorry we took so long, but there was a line at the checkout counter. Now to meet my delicious strawberry shortcake. Egad, even more bad guy stuff is called for. Look me in the eye. You are growing sleepy. Very sleepy. Kohlrabi cookies are the num num nummiest things of the world. A natural winner. Kohlrabi cookies win. Kohlrabi cookies win. What? What? But you haven't even tasted my... Nonsense. I win the gazebo, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> goody, goody butterballs. Well, give it to me. One moment. First prize is this lovely gazebo, made of the finest wood from the gazebo forest of New Jersey. The walls open up to reveal a little gazebo wardrobe and dressing table. Not fair. Cheat, cheat. Sticky wicked. Unblessed test. This mold, he smells a rat. Now, we all got to be good losers. Remember... The victory lies in the struggle, not in the prize. But he didn't even taste one of the kohlrabi cookies. You know, you're right. <laughs> mm. Yeah! Call a doctor. Call an ambulance. Call the Marines. Call them all. Tasty short cakes. Please, sir. Wonderful! The strawberry shortcake wins! The gazebo is yours! Oh, oh, thank you! Oh, thank you so much! We'll return to Strawberry Shortcake after these messages. And now, the adventures of Rose Petal in Rose Petal Place, the garden where flowers came to life. The Rose Petal Variety Show is in full swing when beautiful rose-scented Rose Petal gets stage fright. Will she ever sing again? Can Lily Fair take her place? Later, after a bowl of Daffodil's Chicken Soup, Rose Petal's a big hit. Should she turn professional? Should Daffodil market her chicken soup? Don't miss the next thrilling adventure of Rose Petal. Lily Fair, Rose Petal, Daffodil, sold separately. New from Kenner. I'm making oodles of doodles. Oh, a Play-Doh party. Ooh, look. You can have an oodly doodly Play-Doh party with the new Play-Doh doodler. I can do that. Oh, just put the Play-Doh in the doodler, turn the crank, and press. I've never seen flowers grow so fast. That's because I made the sunshine. <laughs> the Play-Doh doodler comes with everything you see here. New from Kenner. Whoa! <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Welcome to Carolot. I'm the Cloud Keeper, and this is the magical home of the Care Bears. Now, the Care Bears are no ordinary bears. Oh, <laughs> no, no. They have a very special mission to help people share their feelings. Hey, w what about us? Oh, how could I forget baby tugs and baby hugs, hugging everything in sight? Uh, baby hugs? Where is baby hugs? Uh, no, baby hugs. What? Dear me, what would happen if I weren't here to take care of you? Don't worry, Grams Bear. I'm big enough to take care of myself and baby hugs. I'm a care bear. What? No, that baby tugs <laughs> just can't wait to grow up so that he can join the bigger care bears on their missions. I want to be a care bear. Oh, it'll be so great when I'm a care bear. Well, I can hardly wait to be a care bear and do the things that care bears do. I want to be a care bear and float upon a cloud when I'm a care bear. I'm going to be so proud to know that somewhere I can make a smile shine through. Me too. Oh, I want to be a Care Bear like you. You do? 
I be like sunshine and make the sunshine. I have a heart like clever lot. I be like wish bear and always be there. We be the luckiest bears in Carolot. I wanna be a care bear and fill the world with love. To be a care bear is what I'm dreaming of. We make a great pair. We stick together through and through like glue. I just wanna be a Care Bear like you. I just wanna be a Care Bear. Do you see anyone in need of caring, Wish Bear? I think I'm just about to, Tenderheart. We'll get to genius when he comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it, Einstein. You almost broke my favorite butt. <laughs> <laughs> I like to see kids playing mean tricks. What you building now, genius? The space shuttle? <laughs> it's a model of a steam engine, Lumpy. Hey, small Paul. You want to play baseball with us? <laughs> yeah. Can I really? Yeah, sure. Let's see a catch a ball. Okay. <gasps> Whoa! Ah, <laughs> bullseye! <laughs> <laughs> Does my cold heart good to see dirty tricks? Maybe I can join in the fun. You did it on purpose. Why are you always picking on me? Because you're an oddball. And we don't like oddballs. <laughs> <laughs> this will help break his spirit. <laughs> Wait and see. So, he wants to get even, does he? Well, I've got something that will fix every kid in this town. <laughs> I'll fix them. I'll find a way to get even. I think Paul needs some Care Bear's care. Before things get out of hand, he needs someone to love. He's just down on his luck. He just has to learn how to have fun. He needs some cheering up. No, a good grump. A friend. A birthday cake. No, a nice long nap. This is a job for all the Care Bears. Care Bears, to your cloud cars and rainbow rollers. And so the Care Bears were off on another care adventure. The only thing that was on Paul's mind was getting even. And that's not the way to make friends. And Professor Coldheart, that old cold inventor, was up to his cold-blooded tricks again. No, oh, boy, it's cold. Frostbite! Where are you? What are you doing sitting down? We have to prepare my careless ray contraption. <laughs> it's ready for the kitties. <laughs> Excellent. One by one, I'll numb their youthful spirits. Numb their spirits? And freeze their little hearts. All with the touch of a button. All with the touch of a button. <laughs> <laughs> Ruined my careless ray contraption. Who's going to help me fix it? That boy. Yes, <laughs> his name's Paul. He seems to know about machines. 
I want you to find him. Bring him here, and then we'll get you over. <laughs> I'll get you, Lumpy. I don't care how I do it. You won't make any friends that way. Who are you? We're the Dare Bears. We've come to be your friends. I don't have any friends. I'm an oddball. I'm different. Everybody's different. That just means there's more ways to show you care. If you just give a little love, you might just get a little love. If you just give a little hug, a hug might come right back to you. Give a little cheer and get to caring. Be a better friend, it's all up to you. Give another try, it's the best thing you can do. Because yeah. when you give a little love, a little love comes back to you. Well, hey, kid, don't get mad. Get even. If you just give a little shove, you'll find that just a little shove is exactly what we can of to pay them back for what they've done to you. Be a little bad, make a little trouble, leave it up the score with a trick or two. Listen to me, kid, this could be your big debut. Come on and give a little shove and watch it turn black and blue. <laughs> <laughs> if you just show a little joy, you'll look like such a silly boy. Just find someone you can annoy and take a whole new point of view. Everywhere you look, life's filled with wonder. Open up your eyes, you'll see it's true. Don't listen to the lies, it'll make a fool of you. If you just give a little love, give a little shove. If you give a little hug, give a little slug. If you give a little love, a little love comes back to you. To you. <laughs> and, and this is just the beginning. Let's go and have some real fun. Yeah. I really want to make those kids sorry. Paul, what about making friends? Forget it, it's too late. This is more serious than I thought. This calls for a Care Bear conference. Back to Carolot and the Hall of Hearts. Look! How are we going to get back to Carolot? Where is that blundering fool Frostbite? I need that boy, Paul, now. What's that? Two baby fuzzy wuzzies? Fuzzy wuzzy season just opened. <laughs> Hello there. It's been some time since the Care Bears entered the Hall of Hearts to discuss Paul's problem. Perhaps it's not enough for us to tell Paul how to make friends. We might have to help him find out for himself. Oh dear, Grams? I can't find baby hugs or baby tugs anywhere. I have this terrible feeling that something has happened to them. Don't worry, Grams Bear. We'll find them. They must be around here somewhere. I want to go home, Tugs. Listen, Hugs, nothing's going to happen that I can't take care of. I'm a full-fledged, genuine, 100% Care Bear. And I'm not afraid of anything. You're not afraid <gasps> of anything? <laughs> I've waited a long time to get my hands on some fuzzy wuzzies. We've looked everywhere, Gramps, but baby hugs and baby tugs just seem to have disappeared. Look what I found in the back of Tenderheart's cloud car. That's Tug's jam jar. Hugs and Tugs must have stolen away when you went to help Paul. Oh, hurry! Find them before something happens. Wow, what a machine. What's it do? <laughs> this is Professor Coldheart's idea. It'll fix those kids so they'll never make fun of you again. I want them to be really sorry. Now that's what I like to hear. Uh, oh, so, do you oh, think you can repair uh, my machine, oh, boy? You bet. Frostbite, uh, I've got a surprise uh, for you. Uh, but first, behind those shutters is a bell. I can bounce my careless ray off of it and freeze the emotions of every boy and girl in this whole town with one shot. I want you to climb up that bell tower and open those shutters. But I'm too fat to fit in there. Uh, maybe you're right. We'd better find Tug.
shrugs and hugs and quick. Right. Let's split up and meet later at the bell tower. Well, Paul, how's my machine? It's fixed. Good. Now there's one last thing you have to do. Climb up the town's bell tower and open the shutters. But that tower could topple over. Surely you're not afraid. N n no, but... Don't you want to get even? Okay, I'll do it. Or baby tugs. Help! Help! Someone's in Please trouble help. in there. I'm up here. It's Paul. Uh, I have to get up to the top. Please help. You need some luck. A little love never hurt, and this will brighten your way. <gasps> Done, my little friend. <laughs> what were you doing up there anyway? You'll find out soon enough. Thanks for helping me to get even with Lumpy and his friends. What did he mean by that? I don't know, but we better follow him. I did it! I did it! So you did. So tell me, what you gonna do to Lumpy and the... <laughs> the little fuzzy wussies can tell you. <laughs> oh. y you're gonna do that to Lumpy too? That's right! I'm going to freeze them all! We're gonna put the freeze on feeling. We're gonna pack your cares in ice. Oh, We're gonna chill the whole caboodle with my careless ray contraption device. We're gonna start the wheels a turning and turn the world a icy blue. Yeah. We're gonna put the freeze on feeling. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. Thanks to you, we'll freeze the population. Lock them in the deepest hibernation. Thanks to you, there's no more caring, no more loving, no more sharing. This will be our very darkest day. We're gonna numb those fuzzy wuzzies and all those little kitties too. We're gonna put the freeze on feelings. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. Great job, kid. I don't want to get even anymore. I just wanted them to like me. It's all my fault. <laughs> Paul went in there. Oh, that house looks cold. <laughs> hey, Professor, look who's coming. Care Bears? Again? Can I, can I stop them? Huh? Can I? Can I? Huh? Yes. And make sure you do. Doesn't look very friendly. <laughs> oh, it's cold. Which way is up? What's happened? I ain't freezing. Snow! And icicles! Professor Coldheart! In there? Yeah, my Betty knows where baby tugs and hugs are. Correct. And you're just in time to see me freeze the hearts of every child in this town. Frostbite, stop those Care Bears. And this time, make sure. We've got to stop Coldheart and quick. What a spooky place. Which way? We'd better split up. Hey, this is going to be fun. 
Too late, if you care enough. Huh. I don't think he cares enough. I do care. Come on. Perfect. <laughs> the bears will never find us. <laughs> oh, no. Frostbite, what are you doing? Um, uh, watering the pretty flowers. Blockhead! You let them in, but it's too late. <laughs> Frozen solid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nothing can melt them either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Get ready, Care Bears, for the Care Bear Stare. <laughs> You're too late. It's never too late if you care enough. Care Bears, prepare to stare. Now. Stare there! Darn you, fuzzies! You've won again! But next time we'll get you! Woo. What do you mean, we, you little twit? Come back uh, here, you uh, blockhead! Uh, 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 the last uh, uh, time uh, uh, you'll uh, foul me up! <laughs> <laughs> Making a friend is very simple. Being a friend is easy too. Oh, there's nothing like a friendly smile and dimple. To break the ice and lead the way to someone new. If you just love a lot, share a lot, help a lot, hear a lot, give a lot, right to the end. You'll find that daytime, nighttime, anytime is the perfect time to make a friend. A friend will teach you lots of new things. A friend Help you fix a flat. Oh, a friend will put you on a park swing and cheer you on when you step up to bat. If you'll just laugh a lot, wish a lot, dream a lot, kiss a lot, hug a lot, we'll sing it again. You'll find that daytime, nighttime, anytime is the perfect time to make a friend. If you just laugh a lot, share a lot, help a lot, care a lot, give a lot, right to the
a twinkling, spring is here. My little pony, my little pony. When did all the leaves and grass appear? Where there were snowdrifts, now there are no drifts, nor is the sky overcast. My little pony, my little pony, winter is over at last. My little pony, my little pony, frisking about as spring unfolds. My little pony, my little pony, breathing in the scent of Rocking through meadow and wood, my little pony, my little pony, winter is over for good. Where'd you learn that? Uh, I made it up. Well, you better unmake it quick. You didn't like it? Well, oh, it's great, lickety split, but. If you do that in the show, you'll mess up everyone else. You're not the star, you know. I can do whatever I want. Besides, maybe someday I will be a star. I hope so. Just don't do that step, okay? Play it again, Spike. Everyone's very festive and merry. Everything's going full swing. <laughs> my little pony, my little pony. Aren't you happy it's spring? Aren't you happy it's spring? Come on, Chippy, let her rip! When the wolf tries to eat little Red. Me too. But she always gets away. No, maybe she won't this time. Turn the page. You turn it. I turned the last one. I'm eating. Oh, you're always eating. Little pony playing games, having fun. Oh. It makes me sick. Uh, that pie looks awful. Move! I can't see. Don't push! Oh! Oh! Knock it off! Ow! Knock it off! Yes, Mama. What did you call me? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Hidia. I um, I didn't mean to call you, Mama. Yes, you did. I did not. Sit down. Shut up! It's time you do. Nothing did something. Um, I pulled the wings off a fly last week. Uh, I tried to work. That small time stuff. I'm talking about something big. Uh, 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 Two worms. Ugh. It's a pity your grandmother isn't around. She'd show you evil. Your grandfather wasn't so nice either. Yeah, those were the good old days when everything around you was dark and dank and dreary. Before those sweet little ponies came along and made everything green and bright and colorful. <laughs> I can't stand it anymore. It's time to do something about it. Time for the two of you to start living up to the family tradition. Time to start being evil and mean. But we are mean. Uh, we, we are evil. Not evil enough. Why can't 
you be evil like I taught you? Why won't you misbehave the way you should, hmm? You never use the guillotine I bought you. You're just not bad enough for your own good. Why can't you be mean like Aunt Eureka? She fed her victims till they almost burst. <laughs> and cooked them with a sneak in a paprika. She always did her best to do her worst. Well, witches and witches are wicked. How many times have you been told? Your great-grandma Alexis crushed the kingdom with her hexes, and that's the proud tradition I want you to uphold. <laughs> Try to be as evil as your cousins. Lucretia was the cruelest in the crowd. She cooked up evil potions by the dozens. Be just like her and make your mama proud. We're witches, wizards, and warlocks. We're the reason honest people purchase door locks. We've turned princes into frogs, peasants into pheasants, soldiers and sailors into swine. We've never been accused of being angels, but as for being devils, we're divine. <laughs> All our clan was evil and malicious, and that is how I want my girls to be. Work hard at being vicious, and if you're real ambitious, you might wind up an evil witch like me. A terrible, detestable, contemptible, despicable, evil, mean old witch. <laughs> like me! <laughs> I want you to start with the little ponies and their stupid festival. What'll we do with it? show and performing together for the very first time anywhere, the Baby Pony Dancers. Let's hear it for them. Number. I'm sorry. Chill off. Hot dog. I thought my step was better. I didn't mean to spoil everything. Well, you did. Everyone was counting on you. Oh, lickety split. How could you be so selfish? Why do they always have to tell me I'm wrong? Why must they make me feel I just don't belong? If they don't like the way I sing my own song, I'll go it alone. I'll go it alone. How come the word I hear most often is no? The way I'm treated, I feel wrong with it. Upset, but don't rush off the set. You can't take the world on single handed. What if you should end up lost and stranded? Better that than being left remanded. No matter how I try, I can't seem to please. What do they want? Should I go down on my knees? If all they know to do is holler and tease. We 
exercise whatever I do. My days of taking all them in thousands of you. Goodbye, so long, ta da, farewell, toodaloo. But uh, I don't like thinking what may happen to you if you strike out on your own. I, I'll brave the unknown. But you can't. I'm going alone. Don't go it alone. Don't go it alone. Don't go it alone. I'll go with you. You. I don't need anyone. Wait for me. Pretty hard to do, but then we'll make everything dang. What? Dang? I don't know. Maybe it's in here. Uh, dabble, dagger, damage, dandruff. Oh, here it is. Dank. Oh, it means wet. That's it. We'll make everything wet. All we need is some water. <laughs> Over there. Perfect. We'll take the water from here and send it back over there. We'll flood the place. Kitty will be very proud of us. Not like that. For a witch, cast a spell. I never cast a spell before. Wait, here's one. Gersnick, Bridget, Lemonisnick. Let me see that. Now read it. Sorry. Kinsinomo, Tig Turf, Kinsrig, Erzaminig, Lemo Paltraggle. That's better. Well, I read what it said. It worked. Spike's with 
there. Oh, dear. Maybe I was too harsh on her at the show. Don't blame yourself, Buttons. I'll find her. Don't worry. I'll go with you, just in case. Can I go with you? I never get to go anywhere. Oh, no. Shady's nothing but bad luck. Just give me a chance. My luck's bound to change. I think everyone deserves a chance, Shady. You're in. Lickety Split loves the bush woolies. Maybe she went there. Good idea. Let's ride. Be careful. Stay alert. Say hi to the bush woolies for me. One evil deed, that's all I ask. Don't be such a disappointment. I've given you everything a week to want. Shabby clothes, a rotten place to live, all the foul tasting oh. food you can eat, and what do I get back? Nothing! No. Malevia over at Nightmare Heights, her daughter made Easter Sunday come out on a Tuesday. What have you done? A zip! A big fat zero! Oh. Maybe if we try it again. You've humiliated me enough. We have to do something else. Something bigger. Something more evil. What? Let me think. I'm talking. Oh, it's time to get tough. It's time to show those little bones. We mean business. It's time for the smooth. The smooth. That's right. The same stuff that wiped out that kingdom on the other side of the Black Mountain. Grundleland. Grundleland. What a joke. Those little grundies never knew what to do. Get out of there. Now, in order to make the smooth. We need a few things. Here, go get them. Um, mold? Mildew? Mildew? Mark? Fire? Fungus? Fungus? Slime? Rust? And... And... Yes! No! Oh, Midia, don't make us get flume, please, though. Oh, get all the other things, but not flume. You'll get what I tell you to get. Now get going! <laughs> I can do it myself. Okay. I was just trying to help. What's uh, 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 rush? If we don't get this stuff for the smooth, hitty will be even madder at us. You know what that means. You got it. The thought of all those things makes me sick. Sick? Why, sister dear, you're looking rather ill. I fear you aren't feeling at your best. I hope you haven't come down with a chill. Perhaps you need to take a little rest. What about all the work we have to do? You're not going to do it all alone, are you? Oh, we can, darling. What are sisters for? Not to worry, not to worry. I'll do the dirty work. I'll handle all the dirty work. You go relax in your room. I'll collect the muck and mire. I wouldn't want you to perspire. All you have to do is get the flume. The flume? Me? Why not? I'll be doing everything else. You're not that. You're right. In fact, suddenly, I'm feeling a whole lot better. Draggle, dear, I just know how to flash. I still owe you a birthday gift or two. I suffered from a lot of rent cash. But now I'd like to make it up to you. I'll do the dirty work. I'll take on all the dirty work. See? I'm from Java. Let's see you. I'll be working overtime, collecting mold and filthy slime. All you have to do is get the flume. The flume? Me? Happy birthday! Rika, dear, you're really much too kind. Let's just divvy up the list. Oh, nonsense, I don't mind. But if you really want to. I insist. We'll both do the dirty work. We'll both do the dirty work. Everyone should do her day. It's really unfair. I'll collect the 
greenish mold. I'll collect the blackish moss. I'll collect the furry mildew. Just my luck, the mildew suck. Yuck, yuck. I'll go find the yellow fungi. I'll go get the silver slop. wasn't on your list? I thought it was on yours. Well, one of us better get it. What do we tell Ma? I, I mean, Hidia. A lie. We won't tell her we didn't get the food. But you know, all she has to do is look in them bucket. There. You'll never know the difference. You carry it. What? I'm too heavy, Spike. It's all right. Dragons are strong. But you're just a baby dragon. I'm still a dragon. You hear something? My horn itches. Something must be wrong. Something doesn't have to be wrong, Shady. Think positive for a change. Look! Shady! That's a The water falls make you too much noise. I heard something that time. Well, I didn't. Maybe it's going to rain. Maybe we'll get all wet and catch pneumonia. Oh, I knew you shouldn't have come. No, I like the rain. I love it. We'll worry about the rain later. We have to find Spike and Lickety Split. They're leaving. Nobody will ever find us down here. We'll never get home. Right. 
and Megan's got it. Where are those ponies going? It doesn't matter. They can't stop the smooths. Nothing can stop the smooths. <laughs> Daddy, Megan, watch me jump. She'll never make it. You can do it, Molly. And smile. She'll probably break the camera. of the essence. We've come for the rainbow of light. The witches from the volcano of gloom are trying to destroy us. That's awful. Here, take the rainbow, but let me go back with you. Maybe I can help. No, Megan. It's our fight. 
Besides, it's too dangerous. I love danger. And I can ride like the wind. Me too. I'm better. We can all help. Perhaps you can. If those witches want to fight, then we'll give them one. Let's fly!
What did you call me? Sorry, idiot. I didn't mean to call you mama. I'm giving you one last chance, girls. Get the flume or pin a The rainbow of light is gone forever. Why can't we just dig it out? That's impossible. The congealed smooth has created an impenetrable shell. I'm afraid we're stuck with it. No, I'm stuck with it, big mouth. Yeah! Stuck with it! Stuck. We can't give up hope. Yes, he's right. We can rebuild our home and maybe even find a way to unsmooth everybody. Rebuild! Be happy again! Forget it. We're finished. It's over. Yeah. No, it isn't over. You can't give up hope. There's always another rainbow. Search until you find it. Don't look at the cloud. Look behind it. There's a rainbow there somewhere. There's always a ray of sunshine. Though it all seems tragic. You may turn around and like magic, there's an answer to your prayer. Now you feel forlorn, but hope can be reborn. Try and lose that frown. Look up, not down, and you'll find another rainbow. I can guarantee it. Even though you think you've reached the rainbow's end, there's always another rainbow, always another rainbow round the bend. <laughs> more smooth, too. Be brave, sweet stuff. I'll help you. You couldn't help a skunk stink. Leave me alone. <laughs> Gee, even her twinkle is gone. Well, I'm not giving up. We can go to the Moochick. He helped us before. No way. The Moochick's too absent-minded to even remember who we are. We must explore every possibility, every avenue. I'll take you there, Megan. And I'm going with you. Unicorns are good luck. And good company, too. We need more than good luck. You know, maybe we should get a room. Maybe it's time to move out, get a place of our own. Live with you. I'd rather get the room. Oh, that's fine with me. There it is. You're taller. You're stronger. It's the blue more hideous. What do you want? We'll do it together. I'll stick it. You hold it. You hold it. I'll stick it. Give me the pick in the bottle. Ready? Grab it. Hit it. Go!
Bravo. I hope the Moochick's home. Mr. Moochick! Mr. Moochick! Well, is it your turn or mine? I, uh, I don't recall. Oh, 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 yes, of course, of course. Oh. Oh. Oh, ah. Oh, I never win. Mr. Moochick, are you in there? That's odd. The Moochick never leaves the safe confines of his mushroom. I'm sure he's here somewhere. He has to be here. Maybe he's here, but he doesn't want to see us. And who, may I ask, are all of you? I'm known as Wind Whistler. And I'm Busy. We're little ponies. And I'm Megan. My, my, what a funny-looking little pony you are, Megan. <laughs> I'm not a little pony, Mr. Moochick. Don't you remember us? You are from outside the mushroom, right? Right. And the little ponies need your help. Not again. <laughs> You do remember! How could I forget? You gave us the rainbow of light. It worked, I presume. It worked great, but it's gone now. The smooth got it. Do you have another one? Oh my, oh my, oh my. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I'm afraid there is no more rainbow of light. <laughs> what a shame. And the smooth's covered over Dream Castle, too. The little ponies have no place to live. Well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Absurd. Everyone has to have a place to live. Home is where the heart is. It's where you hang your hat. Without a home, you're nowhere. And nowhere, no place to be at. Precisely, Mr. Moochick. But what do you propose we do about it? Why, there's only one thing to do. You have to find a home. You can't live without a home. Why, everybody has to have a home. And I've got one to suit you to a T. <laughs> it's this darling little villa in Capri. Lots of plaza space and overlooks the sea. Uh, Mr. Moochick, it's very sweet of you to offer, but I don't think that's exactly what the little ponies had in mind. No, but goodness me, they have to find a home. How about the Hippodrome? It used to be quite popular in Rome. Or why not do what Cleopatra did? <laughs> Buy a nice Egyptian pyramid. <laughs> Take a look. I guarantee you'll flip your lid. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's terrific. There's no doubt it's quite wonderful, Mr. Moochick, but we couldn't possibly live there. My, my. You certainly are picky, little ponies. <laughs> um, let me see. How about a teepee? How about an igloo? How about a treehouse made completely from bamboo? I knew a woman once, lived in a shoe. All right, I know it simply isn't you. You need a place to dwell. The Taj Mahal is well. Or maybe you'd prefer a swag hotel. Or how about a palace like Versailles? Well, I really don't know what I ought to try. You're looking for some castle in the sky. We truly apologize for being so difficult, Mr. Moochick, but Dream Castle was rather special. Yeah, it's not so easy to replace, but you can do it. I know you can. You see, Mr. Moochick, to the little ponies, Dream Castle was like, like a little bit of heaven. Heaven? Well, I'm afraid you little ponies had better come back down to Earth. You have to find a home. How about the Astrodome? Or something futuristic made of chrome? I'm sorry, but if you want my advice, you'll simply have to make a sacrifice. I know the home you had was very nice, but what you're looking for is paradise. Yeah, take it. It's paradise. Thank you. It's paradise. Paradise's state is exactly what we were looking for. We're very grateful, Mr. Moochick. But what about the smooths? What if the witches make more? 
Oh, well, that's a problem, yes. Mm. It's very difficult to stop the smooths. Maybe even impossible. Oh, but we were counting on you, Mr. Moochik. We presumed you knew everything. I do know everything, my flying four-legged friend. Uh, the only ones who can stop the smooths are, um... Uh, are, uh... Are, uh... Of course, the flutter ponies. Where are they? Yes, well, well, uh, they're not easy to find. Can you give us a clue? Anything. We'll find them. Hmm? Oh, you're in luck. This ancient map will show you the way to Flutter Valley, the home of the Flutter Ponies. But don't tell them I gave it to you. They don't like to be bothered. We won't be the word, Mr. Moochick. Promise. <laughs> off, off, off you go, off you go. Time is short. Take your map and your paradise estate, and good luck to you. You've already given us good luck, Mr. Moochick. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Mm, are you sure it's the flutter ponies? Maybe it's the singing grasshoppers. Then again, it could be the wiggle worms from beyond the water lilies. Another tunnel. We'll never get out of here, Spike. Ah, uh, we'll be out of here in two flicks of a dragon's tail. You see? I'm scared. Oh, don't be. I'll protect you. Don't be frightened. Have no fear. Don't worry. Sorry to alarm you. Grundles won't harm you. Grundles? How do we know you won't harm us? We thought you were some kind of monster. Grundles, good. They still look like monsters to me. Is what everyone thinks. But Grundles, not monsters. Grundles, good. Grundles good, Grundles good, Grundles good. Grundles, good. Grundles, good. Grundles, good. Grundles small, Grundles nice. Grundles also quite concise. Grundles don't waste words. Wasting words for the bird. People stunned, often scared. Eating Grundles unprepared. Grundles are misunderstood. Grundles need. Grundles gentle. Grundles sweet. And sentimental. Grundles hug you, never bug you. Grundles good, Grundles good, Grundles good. Grundles are misunderstood. Take a shot. That's not quite good. Grundles not. As we're painted. Grundles love all. And above, above all. Grundles, Grundles good. Grundles, Grundles good. Grundles good. Grundles good. Grundles good. Grundles good. I am king of Grundles. We are rest of Grundles. We are all that's left of great but tiny kingdom of Grundle Land. Oh, Grundle Land! We it! Sorry, Grundles. I try not to mention it too often. What happened? Witches! Smooth! It was terrible! What's smooth? Can you help us get back to Dream Castle? Never fear, never doubt. Grundles helped to get you out. So, what's smooth? <laughs> Drink! 
Look out! It's the old spooks again! Worse, it's meaner and better! There's no stopping it now. This time it'll cover all the pony land and rid us of the little ponies forever! <laughs> Back to the house! I want to watch this! We can put our new dance studio in here. There's enough space down here for a grand ballroom. And we can have our nursery in this room. Hey, there's even a swimming pool. A swimming pool, yeah. Wow. Oh, like swimming anyway. Uh -huh. Tell me, oh. The it's alive again. We better find those flutter ponies now. I'm going with you. And me. Don't forget me. I want to go too. No, Molly, it's not safe. Safe or not, we're not staying behind this time. We can help. You said so yourself. All right. This is no time to argue. Hurry! The spoons is coming! Let's ride! They're afraid! They're running away! I want those little ponies stopped! Why? What difference does it make? You said nothing can stop the smooth now! Get Og! Oh, not Og! Get him! We'll never find Lickety Split! No, never! Everything looks like everything else! Yeah, everything. Oh, what if the smooth got him? The smooth got him? Oh, no. It's not for sure, Bush Wooly. Come on, we have to keep looking. Yeah, yeah, keep looking, keep looking. What a day. First a bloom, now ah, We have to do everything. This is it, I mean it. Are you gonna tell her? Don't bother me. Ah, you in there? He's in there. We need your help, Ah. Please, Ah, don't be difficult. <laughs> For you. Oggy <laughs> likes it. Does that mean you'll help? <laughs> Is that a yes or a no? <laughs> I'm sorry, Bush Wooly. I didn't mean to make you cry. <laughs> you cry, I cry. I'm sorry. I'm just sad. We haven't found Spike and Lickety Split. I guess I'm a failure. A failure. Yeah, you failed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to agree with everything I say. Yes, I do. Bush Wally's agree with everything. Always, all the time. Yes, we do. Yes, yes. Don't you ever have anything to say for yourself? Yeah. Run! Run? Why run? Going the right way. They're the giant sunflowers. There's no time to go around them. We have to go through. They're so tall, we'll get lost. Just keep your eye on the sky. I'll get you through safely. Great idea, Wind Whistler. Good thing you came along. We'll make it for sure now. We'll just bubble down, Fizzy. We won't get anywhere if you don't stop talking. Sorry, it's just that sometimes I get so excited. I will follow me. <laughs> Gee, I don't see why a little pony can't be enthusiastic once in a while. Straight ahead! You're doing splendidly! Now I know how an ant feels. To the left! You're drifting! Stay close, everybody! How much farther? You've reached the halfway point! <gasps> oh, no! What is it? Snows! Run for it! Get on! That way! Faster! It's coming closer! Megan! Uh. Keep going! I'll catch up to ya!
to be courageous when helping others. Gee, Wind Whistler, that's beautiful. I love the way you talk. Ah, smooth ball coming! Look out! Bush Wooly! We thought you were a smooth ball. What about Lickety Split and Spike? We can't find them. Oh, Shady, that's terrible. I tried, it really did. We looked everywhere honest. Yeah, everywhere. Shady tried. I'm sure you did. Now that Megan's here, maybe my luck will change. We're gonna need all the luck we can get. If this map is right, Flutter Valley is that way, through a place called Shadow Forest. Ooh. Danny! <laughs> what do you think, King? Dreamcastle that way. You sure? Seems to me we've been that way already. What's over there? Grundle Land. Oh, Grundle Land! Grundle Month. Gee, if only I hadn't run away, none of this would have happened to me. It bring Grundle King. That's true, but we're lost. Your tail's smooth, and it's all my fault. If only somebody could help me. Help me. Hey, wait. Maybe you can wish away the smooth. That's not a wishing well. It can't help. Can't hurt. Go ahead, Rickety Split. Make your wish. Who knows? Maybe it'll change things. I don't know. There's an awful lot to change. No one's in a fix like I am. I am. No one has the luck I do. I do. No one had the setbacks I have. I have. Look where life has led me to. me to Nothing I can see can help me Help me And with all that we've come through Come through I wish this was a dream so I could wake up Wake up But what good will wishing do? Ah, oh, come on, Lickety 
But it make a real risk. Feeling sorry for yourself isn't going to improve the situation. I can't help it. Everything looks so hopeless. Nothing I can see can help me. Help me. Somebody will save you. Ooh, 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 ooh. I wish there was some cozy little in here. In here. But what good will wishing do? And I'm Spike. And I am King of Grundles. We, we are Restaurant Grundles. Do you live in this well? <laughs> Goodness, no. I stopped for a drink and fell in. My wings got wet and I couldn't fly out. Oh, thank you. <gasps> what are all of you doing here? Trying to get away from some ugly purple stuff. Smooth? You know about smooth? Flutter ponies know all about the smooths. You help us? Certainly. You helped me. It's only fair. Then my wish did come true. Follow me. I think it's Flutter Valley. Here comes the smooth. How close is it? So close. It's Shadow Forest, all right. Looks so dark in there. You should have brought your nightlight. Danny, only kidding. You were not. Over here! I found a trail! Hurry! Hey, I finally did something good. Maybe my luck is changing. It's scary in here. Ah, they're only shadows. Don't be such a chicken. <laughs> what was that? It's only a tree branch. An oak, I believe. Nothing to be frightened of. You bring your nightlight, Danny. <laughs> All right, big deal. So I thought it was something else. What, a monster? Come on, you two, that's enough. There aren't any monsters here. But where is here? We're lost, I just know it. We're not lost, Shady. Relax. Uh, oh, here we are. What are all those squiggly lines? I don't know. Oh, I do now. Run! Wait! There's no need to panic. No panic! Plant. There's no tall furry plant on the map. Really? 
careful, don't touch it. <laughs> oh my goodness! Awesome! <laughs> friend Lori does not. Perhaps there's another entrance in the Flutter Valley. Not according to the map. Maybe it'll go home. Maybe we should go home. Let's see if it's hungry. Danny! Hey, you go. You hungry? See? It's good. that power. 
Will you help us then? Try to understand. We wish only to be left alone. Then you won't help the little ponies? No. You have to help them, Rose does. Morning, Glory. Lickety split. Spike, I never thought we'd see you again. They need our help, Rose Dust. It's not our fight, Morning Glory. But it is. It's everybody's fight. Yeah, everybody has to help everyone else. I mean, I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for the Grundles. Greetings. Somebody has to stop the smooth. Please, Rose Dust. of Megan and Magic Star and Fizzy and Wind Whistler. Now imagine a sky filled with flutter ponies. Do you see them? I don't see anything. Neither you are. I do. I do. What's that sound? It's them. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Look at They're back. Your home, Lickety Split. Me too. Back. Ah! Oh. Don't let them be trapped. Oh. Oh. You can't oh. work. Oh. Oh. Do something. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
For saving Lickety Split, we want you to have Dream Castle. You can begin your kingdom again. You mean it? It's yours. We have Paradise Estate now. Grundle King touched. Having new kingdom better than vacation. Goodbye, little ponies. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Sure gave us a scare, Rainbow. You keep it lickety split. The rainbow of light belongs here with the little ponies. I belong here too. I can't think of a better place to be. Yeah, it's the best. My little pony, my little pony. Now comes the time to say goodbye. My little pony, my little pony. Could that be a teardrop in your eye? No need for sorrow. Think of tomorrow. We'll be together again. My little pony, my little pony, hope you keep smiling till then. I hope you. 